Blessings to everybody. Blessings to everybody. Get on in here. Let's fellowship one time. For God has blessed us to see another month, the last month within this year. And we're grateful for that. Get in here, man, and fellowship with me. Come on in here. Let me do this right quick. Hold on. As I'm getting this together, <clears throat> I want you guys to hit that like button, man. Come up in here, man, and fellowship with one another. Greet one another. You know, you don't know what tomorrow may bring, man. You been, you done been blessed to see a whole nother month. The last month in the year is looking good for you. It's not promised that we're going to see 2023, but... You know what I mean? From the outside looking in, it do look like we got a chance. So, you know, but we don't want to take nothing for granted. So make sure, man, that you show love in the comment section. You know, we're blessed to be here one more again. Hold on, let me get this set up. There we go. How y'all been, though, man? How you feeling? Ain't you blessed to be here one more time? Hold on, let me make this. Cause see, I was trying to go live and they was playing with me. I even on my other channel, I tried to upload a video and they was giving me all of this. Uh, you gotta, you know, give us permission to, for your pictures and all, just all type of weird stuff. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Bam. Okay, that's one. Let me go to the next one and do it. Come up in here, man. We almost 300, almost 300 deep. And y'all only got 100 likes? Man, y'all playing with the game. Let's not start the month off playing with the game. No, that ain't how we gonna do the game, man. You know what I mean? Not with 100 likes. And you almost got 300. Yeah, you pretty much got 300 people now up in here. And it's 111 likes? Oh, no. Punchy, what's happening with it? Prince, what's happening with it? Yeah, I'm going to say some things before I say some things. And then open up the lines for you to say some things. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Shout out to everybody, man, that's on my Patreon. We're going to speak on that before I get into uh, anything else. You know, Kelpie also said you his favorite pee. You stupid. Hold on. We're going to speak on Kelby, too. Yeah, we're going to speak on Kelby. And y'all let me know how y'all felt about that, too, because... Kelby was on No Jumper, and he said that he would love to collaborate with me. He think that it would be a great idea, and it would produce some great content. And I just want to know what the game, what the family uh, got to say about that. How y'all feel about that? You know, let me know. Is you, is you, is you feeling it? You know what I mean? If you ain't, then just be yourself. You might say, see, and I'm not really feeling Kelby coming on the Sin for the P uh, platform. I'm not really feeling you doing nothing with Kelby, man. Or you might say, yeah, sin, you know what I mean? G give him a chance, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Speak to little Kelby. You know, chop, chop, uh, uh, chop it up with him one time. Fellowship with him one time, man. Ask him some questions. You know, you the one to, to, to do it. You know what I mean? If it's anybody that can interview anybody, if it's anybody that can present this game right, man, come on. Talk to little Kelby, man. Maybe you might encourage him to go another way. You know? Hold on. Or maybe, maybe, maybe that's what y'all want from me. Maybe y'all want me to sing. Maybe y'all want me and Lil' Kelby to do a mixtape. 
If that's what y'all really want. Y'all want me to jump on Kelby's mixtape? <laughs> oh, shit. Did you see Lil' Kelby mention you on Adam22 on No Jumper yesterday? Best believe Adam going to reach out soon. Well, uh, blessings uh, to Adam and his endeavors, man. Yeah, blessings to him. Uh, Finesse, man, appreciate that 20, man. Thank you for all the game you blessed me with. Man, I appreciate you for acknowledging all the game that you've been blessed with. And I'm appreciative to, uh, to the game for using me a nobody to be a vessel to you or somebody, you know what I mean, to be a blessing to your life, man. I'm sincerely, man, uh, appreciative for that. He said, you appreciate that too, man. Good looking. Bill, appreciate that, famo. You know what I mean? Appreciate that respect for the game. Whether I don't care if it's a, a dollar, a whole bunch of ones be the whole bunch of nuns, man. I appreciate that, man. Yo, baby D. Appreciate that respect, player. Appreciate that $50, man. Really appreciating the game around here, man. I appreciate that. Got more game from seeing than my pops. Man, come on, man. Don't be messing up. Don't mess with me like that, man. You know I got to speak my mind and speak on this game, man. And you done already. Come on, man. You know, man, what you trying to. Damn, you trying to break a pimp down, man. Um, all I can say to you is, man, again, like I told him, I'm appreciative that God used me. But at the same time, I really hope if your pops is still living uh, for God to reconcile things between you and your father. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, not only replenish the relationship, but bless your father to be in a position where he could be a father he can do that, which is vital to the title of a father to you, his son. You know, I'm honored that you would think such a thing. But on the other hand, if your father is living, uh, I know that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ask or think. And if it's anybody that can uh, bring restoration to a situation, uh, I know him to be just that. He's he's more than able. So, uh, again, I'm honored that you would even think such a thing. Uh, but at the same particular time, I really hope things go well with you and your father because when the scripture speaks of father and mother, notice that it say father first. And I just believe that everything in the word of God is placed accordingly. It's placed according to the divine will of God. It's the reason why the father is there first before the mother when it speaks concerning honor. So when it spoke about honoring the parents, the father is before the mother. Amen. And so regardless of what we think or how we feel about our parents, we have a mandate from heaven to honor our parents. Amen. I don't want the sun to go down on your wrath or anger or whatever temporary feelings that you may have concerning your parents. Amen. As we walk into this new month, amen, I can hear the game saying, let that go. Yeah, it's so many things that you want. You, you're never going to be blessed with until you allow yourself to let that go. As the scriptures say, lay aside every weight that so easily beset you. Let that go. Weights of depression, weights of anger, weight, weights of madness, and you know what I mean? Weights of, you know what I mean? Just pure hatred towards your own parent. Let that go. You are you supposed to be joyful. You supposed to be, you know, what I mean, the embodiment of joy. You supposed to have joy unspeakable and peace everlasting. You can't have that having anger and hatred towards your father, your mother, you know, regardless of what you think or whatever they did or didn't do in your life. It's still because of them that you have life. Amen. So we want to respect and honor uh, the parents. I don't know who I was speaking to when I said that, but uh, whoever that word was for, amen, take heed. Uh, Tyler, man, appreciate that too. Good looking, fam. I appreciate the love of Jay. What's happening? I feel good now because my boy Jay up in here. You know, and let me say this shout out to the homie. Shout out to Game Affiliated. Shout out to the. Did y'all see my boy go viral? You know, I posted him on both pages. 
you know, a lot of people seeing, he's saying, yo, man, listen, uh, I, I don't know what y'all like were taught, but some people on this platform, it's not for them to stay in the comment section all their lives, or all their years. Some of y'all are just here to get the game. And then once you get the game, apply the game, evangelize the game yourself. It's not for you. It's just like in church. We have people who've been sitting all in the pews all of these years, waiting on a pastor, waiting on a bishop to tell them to go out into the field and evangelize the word of God. They're waiting on a prophet. They're waiting on a prophetess to prophesy to them, to tell them to go out into the field and evangelize the word of God. Amen. The word of God already told you to go out into the world. The word of God already told you to do the work of an evangelist. What you waiting on the creature to tell you to do something that the creator has already told you to do? So we have individuals just like that on YouTube. You know, YouTube then kind of like replaced the church for some people. So we have some individuals, they looking at content creators or entertainers, performers, singers, and you know, uh, uh, individuals, you know what I mean, uh, on these platforms, and you so busy wasting time, you know, looking at everybody else instead of endeavoring to manifest that which God has put in you. you God has put investments in you. You're talented. You're gifted. You're blessed. I don't want you sitting over there gazing and in awe of everybody's gift and believing everybody's truth or myth that come out their mouth when you could be sitting, you could be telling your own truth. Some of you are working eight and 10 and 12 hours. And don't you know with the life that you've lived, the testimony that you've had, that charismatic personality that you have, if you were to take out time and make sacrifices, man, you could be making that money that you made within this year. That little 30,000, 40,000, some of y'all have made 60, 70,000. Man, you could have made that with putting your book out. Man, you could have made that and more sitting at your house, you know what I mean, speaking life into somebody else. Man, you have an internet. It's 24 hours within a day. When you going to use that to better yourself? When you going to use that to believe in yourself and step out there on faith? Again, I didn't even come to do all of that, man. I don't know who that's for, but, you know, I'm speaking life, man. I hope that, you know, 2023, you know what I mean, uh, you know, you have more progression than you had this year. Amen. And don't wait till 2023 to get started. Amen. The time is now. The scripture says, redeem the time for the days of evil. You don't know what tomorrow may hold. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait. Ooh, 2023. That, no, 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 no. When you're really serious, the time is right now. See, and I want to lose weight. When, the, when, the, when you're really sincerely, earnestly, seriously, when you're really, that's, that's some Southern shit right there. When you really earnestly, seriously <laughs> about, you understand me, whatever the hell you're talking about, the time right now. The time is right now. You ain't got to wait till next year. You ain't got to wait for nobody to pat you on the back. You don't got to search on YouTube for a motivational, you know what I mean, tutorial. You ain't got to wait for somebody in the gym hollering and cussing and telling you, get your ass in here. You ain't got to wait on none of that. Because I'm going to tell you this, if you keep doing what you're doing and how you're doing, smoking what you're smoking, drinking what you're drinking, eating what you're eating, you're going to sit up there and see that graveyard real soon. And that's sad. That a gun didn't take you out. That's sad that, you know, didn't nobody beat you up to kill you. you did, didn't nobody hit you. You didn't get into no car accident or nothing like that. But you were so, you know what I mean, addicted to smoking that or drinking that or doing all of that, eating that. And you accelerated to your expiration date before your appointed time. Because you were just so addicted. You thought that food was just so good. You thought them cigarettes were so good. You know what I mean? That shit mashing on you. Then some of you got the nerve to call yourself pimps. And you don't got no discipline about yourself. I thought you said you was the master of yourself. Speaking in existence right now. Come out of that. Come out of depression. Come out of them demons right now. 
Shake that shit loose. You got too much greatness within you. Way too much. God didn't bless you with too much of a ministry to be bound by cigarettes, bound by all that weed. Look how your breath smell. Look at your teeth. Look at your gums. That's not a good representation, you know what I mean, of you. That's not a good representation of God. That's not a good representation of this game. Get your body together. Get your mind right. Get your spirit together. Then some of you thinking about so many people. Well, let me tell you something before we get into what we get into. Uh, you can die right now and your family going to keep going. You can die right now and your so-called friends going to keep going. You can die right now and the world going to keep spinning. So while you sitting over there bending over backwards and making sacrifices to make everybody else happy and, and all of that, you better be putting that energy towards your health. You better be putting that energy, you know what I mean, towards building yourself. You better be putting that energy towards your wealth. You better be putting that energy into making daily deposits, you know what I mean, of love into you. Because that's one thing I've learned in my 38 seconds on earth from watching my just my observation that when that person died, the world kept spinning. When that person died, the world kept spinning. When Nipsey died, the world kept spinning. When, when your boy, you understand me, Michael Jackson died, man, I, Michael Jackson was the coldest that ever walked this planet. And for Michael to die and the world kept spinning, yeah, your little ashy ass, you already know what the world going to do when you die. So while you so invested in making all of these sacrifices for everybody else, my sister, my brother, <laughs> my cousin, my <laughs> you better enjoy life. You better be doing things so you can live here. Because some of y'all with the way you live and you're not going to even see 50 years old. Some of y'all living lives, you know what I mean? You're cut off. You're not even going to see 40. Shout out to my brother, man. Shout out to O'Shea, you know what I mean, for coming up in here. You know what I mean? Coming up in here with the U UGX. Coming up here with the UGX dollars. Let me get broke for my brother off in Africa. Man, shout out to O'Shea. Shout out to O'Shea. Let me, let me say this. Again, I'm just going to use them. See, that ain't nothing but the game. But let me just use that for example. Because now I'm thinking about O'Shea, Kevin comes to mind. Kevin has some great content. Kevin made a lot of money. Kevin was popular. But Kevin didn't get the chance to enjoy himself. Kevin didn't enjoy life the way he was supposed. He didn't even get a chance to enjoy the fruits of his labor. See, why you worried about this and you worried about this, you got your mind on that and that and that and that and how to make this. Man, you better take time to say, you know what? I, I'm going to get to that. But I don't, I, I'm not going to stress myself out about that. I don't want to be so into chasing money, chasing people, chasing a love that don't exist, chasing friendships that don't exist. Doing my best, you know, uh, Oscar award winning performance around fake friends and all of that shit just to sit up there and die and don't get the chance to enjoy the fruits of my labor. When O'Shea did that video, and I don't want, I know some of y'all about to record and go back, but when I seen that video that O'Shea just did not too long ago on Donovan Sharp, see, I'd let Shea do all of that. I don't have, I don't, I've never, if you notice, I've never made a video on Donovan Sharp. I haven't. Um, I think we did a video or two where he might have been on and I came on, on O'Shea's uh, platform and things like that, but we don't really know each other. But let me just tell you this, guys. I'd be damned for me to sit up there and die and people profess to be my best friends and friends and all of this shit. And then doing live videos, crying and, you know what I mean? <laughs> my best friend. <laughs> but while they doing all of this, they throwing me under the bus. 
Yeah, I didn't like when Sin told me to shut up. One time Sin told me to shut the fuck up and he hung up the phone. And I've been heartbroken ever since. Sin, why you die? You could have called me back and said you can speak now. But you hurt my heart when you told me to shut the fuck up. And you just hung up the phone and you just left me crying. And ever since you died, nigga, I've been crying for years. Oh, thank you for the cash app. Oh, God, what am I going to do? Thank you for the super chat. Good looking, man. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, my God. Sin, why did you tell me to shut the fuck up? Eat the bowl shy. No, no, no. Listen, these niggas are crazy. This is why I say the more money I get, the richer I get. I'm moving further and further away from you niggas. <laughs> so don't act surprised when it's like, man, ever since sin they got this, you know what I mean? He moved further and further. I told you what I was going to do. Shit. You know what I mean? So, you know, with that being said, man, <laughs> shout out to, but for real, the man died and he's sitting up there crying in the video, you know what I'm saying? And I just thought it was unfair because... He told me to stop hanging with Fresh and Trick. And Fresh and Trick, those were my buddies and those were my guys. And they always looked out for me. They shared my content in their community. They always let me come on their platform. When my platform went dry as the Arizona desert, you know what I mean? They allowed me to come on and say, hey, here's our friend. But Kevin never did that. He never did it. Like, come on, man. This is why I say you. I don't really like a lot of guy friends, man. You guys are bitches. You guys are strange to me. The stuff that y'all text my phone with, the, the, the people, guys calling me like I'm, you know what I mean, like I'm God and things. Like, man, you guys are strange. Very strange. And I need to just move at my own pace. Maybe it just ain't the will of God, the will of the game. For me to hit no damn a million subs and all of that. Because, man, you not you not only are you guys phony and you fake, but you're weird. So, yeah, man, I just take hanging being with the hoes uh, for innumerable uh, dollars, Alex. Yeah, give me that. You guys are strange. You're weird. You know what I'm saying? So... Again, man, you know, uh, why are you putting in so much time to, you know, spend time with individuals, pick up the phone with individuals, fellowship with individuals, man? Man, these people don't give a fuck about you. What I've been telling y'all, I've been telling y'all that for years. And y'all think I'm heartless when I be saying it. But I told you that nobody cares about you. You, in, you bending over backwards to do stuff for people in your so-called family. They don't care nothing about you. You can die right now. And certain family members, the only thing they're going to be thinking about is, damn, am I in his will? Damn, am I in her will? Did she put me in her will? Did he put me in the will? What will I be inheriting? You know, am I in the inheritance? Am I going to gain anything? Do I got to take some of the family members to court to get this or that? Your life means nothing to these individuals. You're blessed if you have two to three individuals that sincerely, you know, genuinely, righteously, on a daily love you. Some of you are in la-la land. You have been deceived into thinking that you're so loved. And I'm here to tell you that you're not. You're not loved the way that you think that you're loved. You might have people that like you and, or might be fond of you. But you know, that love shit, man. Y'all just be throwing that shit all around. I'm so glad I'm sinful. I'm so glad that in a lot of areas I'm just so heartless in. I'm so callous in. Because I've seen how fake individuals are. From the church to the streets. Man, I didn't seen it all from jobs, all of that. People are fake. You better love yourself waiting on another motherfucker to love you. You better sit up there and use 
the activity of your limbs and all your energy and invest that in yourself and love your motherfucking self. Waiting on somebody to sit up there, you understand me, and pat you on your back and encourage you. You better be like David. I encourage myself. That's what you better do. And as a matter of fact, you need to hear that video too. I encourage myself. But blessings to everybody, man. I, you know, I didn't even mean to go that route. Wow. Uh, could you get my likes up? I appreciate all the financial contributions. I do. And shout out to all the ladies uh, that are in here. I'm going to talk some shit for a little while and I'm open up the phone lines. And I just want to let you know for the month of December, you don't need a notification uh, because whether people like it or not, consultation. Oh, let me, I'm going to speak on that too. But uh, 10 o'clock EST time. Is that a good time? Matter of fact, let me ask y'all. Is that a good time? Is 10 better? 11 better? 12 better? I just want to have some type of early morning game. Is 10 too early? Is 11, is 11 better? Or 12 new? You know what I mean? Or Dan Gasser. Shout out to Lil Bro. No, I'm uh, no baby. I'm EST time. You gotta remember, I'm in Canada. I'm in Mississauga. I'm done working out at that time. Shout out to Balance Man coming up in here so playerish, coming up in here so fly. You know, matter of fact, let me stop disrespecting Balance. He ain't coming up in here playerish. That's for you, Square. You know, he came up in here so pimpish, representing his game. Pardon my pimper. Excuse my pimper. Yeah, balance came up in here so pimpishly. You know what I mean? Representing the game. And let me say this. You know, I know some of y'all was like, Sin was at AK-47. Sin went to the... And I would have did it at Sharp's thing, but he didn't have it set up. But when you see me at other platforms uh, giving cash apps, because that's I have to give cash apps because for some reason, uh, they make me go through so much hell uh, to do the super chat. So that's why I'm always sending cash apps instead of the super chats anyway. And plus the cash apps is better than the super chat because the person get a hundred percent of the money. You know what I'm saying? The super chats, you know what I mean? is still good because the reason why I like the super chat, because let's say if balance had a channel or another P had a channel, I'm not really going there, you know, on some fan shit. I'm going to represent the game. So when you see me with that 100 or that 500 or, you know, when you, use, when you see Freeze live and you see me just constantly shooting them hundreds and things like that, I'm representing the game. Not only is this my brother, but I'm a pimp. What I look like coming up in there with $5 and 10 and 20 and 50, man, I'm pimping, man. You know what I'm saying? So when you see me shooting them hundreds and shit like that, I'm not coming on no fan shit. I'm coming there because I see the pimping, you know what I mean, teaching the game or, you know, being a blessing to the people and things like that. But I'm coming to make the game look good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like when I told O'Shea one time, I'm like, man, go ahead and, and go like It wasn't because O'Shea need the goddamn money. O'Shea rich. It's just, it's just that he gave some game that I'm still living off of. The reason why them super chats is even in there now is because O'Shea said, man, O'Shea was like, hey, man, I know you pivoting and everything, but, man, you be going live, and I'm pretty sure the people would love to be a blessing to you, man. Hey, man, turn on, turn your, uh, 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 your super chat on. Because, man, for over two years of me being on YouTube, I didn't have no damn super. Man, me, Johnny Cash, and, and Freeze, uh, Shantae, Danky, you know what I mean? Silky every now and then. Man, we would just be on here fellowship and we didn't give a damn about no goddamn super chat. We was hoping that a motherfucking nice, fine, attractive, beautiful woman want to get involved and evolve into, you understand me, bringing a super trap, not a super chat, nigga. You know, we was fellowshipping about the game. We would just want to make the game look good. That's all we cared about. So it wasn't really until after two years that Shay had came uh, you know, and was like, hey, turn that on. Woo, woo, woo. You know, he was the one that was like, hey, man, you need a website. 
you know, the consultation, man, you need to, yeah. So shout out to Shay, man. You know what I mean? Shay came with that game. Um, but again, when I see other, that's like a Sepulveda the Prince started platform. I'm not coming in his, uh, his shit with less than $100. Why? Because I'm the Pippin. It ain't no disrespect to the squares. I expect the squares to come with them ones and fives and ten, and twenty. Th but I'm pimping, man. <laughs> I'm not coming in there with less than no hundred dollars, man. Shit, I fuck around and give more than that. And it ain't because I'm fanning the fuck out because of Sepulveda the Prince and I got Sepulveda the Prince posters on the wall, nigga. It's because I'm representing the game. What's a hundred dollars to a pimp? What's a few hundreds or even a thousand? What is that to a pimp? I showed you that when me and Art of Dialogue was gambling for a thousand dollars just on some music shit. I'm having money. I'm doing my thing. What the fuck is a thousand dollars? What the fuck is a hundred dollars? This is what I mean, keeping the game fly. There's certain individuals, let me just take the time out. Uh, Lil Ron. Love Lil Ron. Lil Ron doing some things right now in that Bay Area, man. That uh, <laughs> ain't nobody else doing. P, what you mean by that? Lil Ron, stay suited and booted. You know, I just got to keep it all the way 100, man, because we got a lot of Bay Area Max. We got a lot of Bay Area gangsters. But as far as real up and down straight lace, according to the game, pimps, you know what I mean? Very few. And Ron is one of the very few. He's a real up and down, straight up, you know what I mean, pimp. I'm not saying his piece stand for perfect. I'm saying his piece stand for perfecting. He's endeavoring. He's evolving. He's striving. And I just like to see that. You know what I mean? Young P pulling up to the E14 in a goddamn limo suited and booted. Who else doing that? Who, what else, Young P, do you know in the Bay Area pulling up, you know what I mean, in them limos and, you know what I mean, getting clean and being sharp with the cologne on, you know what I mean? Man, you, because I be looking at a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all look like y'all about to rob a pimp, man. Yeah, y'all be having your pants all hanging off your booty with your booty hanging out and shit. I don't know what that's about, man, but that ain't a pimp's uniform. We don't dress like that. But I understand that, you know, a lot of these bitches be liking the Crips and the blood. So, you know, a lot of you guys be looking at how the rappers be dressing and you dress like the rappers. You don't have no originality. You don't have your own identity in this shit. That's why we got niggas now trying to look like Lil Durk and all type of goofy shit. And these stupid ass bitches, you know, because I said we got to hold these bitches accountable. These stupid ass bitches is uh, sitting over there taking motherfuckers that should have been working at Wendy's. That should have been a janitor at McDonald's. But instead, they taking the guys... They should be working at McDonald's, taking orders. The, the, the guys that should be cleaning toilets, you know what I mean, at your local Burger King, they sitting over there actually paying these guys and deceiving them into thinking that they pimps. Oh, I like him. He cute. You know what I mean? Oh, he's a trap. These bitches so stupid. Got to hold these bitches accountable. It ain't all these niggas' fault. It's these dumbass bitches that be enabling these Ritalin baby ass niggas, you understand me, in this game. Stupid ass bitch. You know what I mean? Instead of her being with a real pimp, she want to be with a gangbanger. She want to be with a stranger. She want to be with a Ritalin baby ass nigga. And that's that one thing, man. You have to, and, and as cold as what I'm saying, still, at the end of the day, it's her choice. <laughs> so fucked up, ain't it? That's her choice. P, she, P, man, dude just came, he's a known homosexual, and she paying the shit out of him. It's her choice. It's sad. That that's, that's the sad part. In our lifestyle, everything is based off the choice of a woman. And she can right now walk the skid row and dig in the garbage can and say, do you want to be my pimp? And he can literally just get out that garbage can, accept the money, and next thing you know, be on Mark's platform on soft white underbelly just popping it. Yeah, man, you know what I mean? Straight out the garbage can with this shit, man. You know what I mean? The game chose me, man. I was in the garbage can, man, in my own motherfucking business, man. And the game just bombarded my motherfucking garbage can, man. I was in there sleep, man, in my business, man. But the game said, I have chosen you. I was like, oh, my God. 
Then the bitch put the trap in my hand, man. You know what I mean? Got me a hotel room. I took that shower. That bitch did my hair. I got a pedicure. I got a manicure. We got, you understand me, new clothes. You know what I mean? And she talking about some. She about to bring me a new bitch, man. Yeah, man, straight out the garbage can. Y'all look out for my DVD coming out, man. You know, y'all look out for my book coming out, man. Straight out the garbage can with this shit. <laughs> you know? Bitches is walking dead up to the garbage can and just choosing niggas. I like you, even though you smell a little funny, but I like you a little bit. Your brown teeth got character. These bitches are stupid. So, hold on. Shout out to Mr. Act Now, man. Appreciate that 10, homie. Appreciate that, fam. Good looking out. Uh, another person that's been wanting to uh, collab you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Yuck Mouth. Shout out to Yuck Mouth. Yuck Mouth been reaching out to me. Uh, and if it's in the, the will of the game for that to go down, uh, it will in the game's appointed time. But shout out to the Yuck Mouth. He's been reaching out uh, as well and for a little minute now. Blessings to him. But, yeah, again, man, and get my likes up. Man, let's touch 600 with them likes. But, yeah, again, you know, um, Taking it back to this Patreon, you know, we a new month. It's a new month now. What? Let me ask for the people that's on my Patreon. Do you like how I've been doing things with the movies from the theaters? Because see, now I done figured this shit out. Now I done figured how to show movies uh, from the theaters without my Vimeo account being destroyed. See how you know, meaning that I don't be leaving it up there for days and all that that shit no more. You know what I mean? How you how you like that? Let's see what I show. I show uh, Wakanda. Uh, I played Smile yesterday. I put Smile up there. Uh, I put uh, Teal, the Emmett Teal film. Uh, it's something else that I'm missing. It's something else I can't think of, but y'all let me know, man. You know what I mean? Did you, did you, you know what I mean? You like that? And, and let me also say this for all the Patreon members. If it's a film, cause you know, I got all the game up there just posted, but uh, if there's ever a, a content, if there's ever some game content that you can't find or a movie, you know what I mean? That you want, you know what I mean? You just get into my DM or you get into my inbox, or then some of you got my 702 number, you know what I mean? Just text me and be like, you know, uh, seeing, you know, can I see such and such, such and such. Like somebody texted me this morning, and they was like seeing, you know what I mean, man, uh, I wish I could find that Sugar Hill. And I had Sugar Hill posted, it's just that once I lost my, uh, my Vimeo account, the last one, of course that went away. But because he asked that, I will be posting Sugar Hill uh, hopefully, if the Lord says the same, if the game says the same, you know what I mean, uh, today. But you definitely want to get to the Patreon because not only do I have, uh, you know, the game posted there, my Eternal Classics uh, posted there. And let me also speak on Nice. The reason why, the main reason why I took the rise and fall of King Nice off of YouTube was not just, you know, for my Patreon and, and Patreon and financial gain, but I knew, and this is not being arrogant, but I knew the way that I conveyed things and the, uh, you know what I mean, the, basically from the beginning to the end, I know that somebody, you know what I mean, uh, will basically take my life because people do it all the time. They take individuals' lives. There's so many individuals that have been telling their story, whether it been a book or whether it been on a platform, and you have individuals that will take your life and they'll kind of like, kind of edit it, put a new name on it, and then they'll put it out there as if this is their intellectual property, as if basically this is a revelation that came to their mind. When this is your life though, and they will generate millions, you know what I mean, off of your life. So you have to be very careful, you know, uh, when you convey things and of course, I've conveyed a lot of things that individuals, you know, what I mean, could take because this is actually my life, you know. But um, that's why I kind of, you know, did that little move on there. Let me say this 
for all the people on consultation, this is the last month. As you know, I've been doing that for years. It's my time now. I made a lot of sacrifices. I even spoke and dealt with a lot of you when you didn't have no money, when you was fucked up. Some of you were in situations where you had cases pending. You, you was going to court. You was in trial and you didn't have no money. Some of you was, you know, in medical situations. You didn't have no money. And I still sit up there and fucked with you. You know what I mean? But 2023, you know what I mean? Ain't going to be none of that because some of y'all ain't going to lie. Some of y'all didn't try to even bring the game to me. Seeing I'm broke or seeing I don't have it right now. Seeing this is all I have. And yeah, that's cool and everything like that. But I did that shit for years, man. While I seen, I look back at other dating coaches that was charging y'all, you know what I mean, a thousand dollars and killing y'all. You know what I mean? And wasn't even really having given y'all no game. And I'd be damned if I allowed dating coaches with fat ass girlfriends, with ugly ass wives, to be making a thousand dollars a pop, you know what I mean, in consultation. And I stay at 200 and my game is <laughs> way past the hell no. Yeah, so we ain't doing that no more. Yeah, this the last month, you know what I mean, of that. It won't be no more of that. I'm letting you know right now. You know what I mean? This is the last $200 consultation month. You know what I mean? There won't be no more of that. If you did, and seeing what, what you mean, exactly what the fuck I said. Yeah, I did enough of that. Did enough uh, of that. So, you know, just letting you know now. So if you want to sit up there, man, and get it in with the $200 consultation, this will be that month. Seeing not doing that no more because not only that, it take a lot of time. You know, as you keep progressing and you're doing your thing, you know, it really do be taking a lot of time. And then, you know, I hate to be sounding like that, but, you know, when you really have money, you're doing your thing, you know, and then you got to listen to some guy cry about a bitch, you know what I mean, for 200 fucking dollars. Uh, no. <laughs> we not doing, I don't mean, I, I just got to give it to you in the real. Some of y'all, man, it really took all like, oh my God. Like, man, she won't pick up the phone, man. And you know what I'm saying? And I, I gave this in, you know, what do I do? Then when I try to tell you, you know, hold on, I don't mean to cut you off. But yeah, man, you know what I mean? I gave this bitch everything, man. And we were, I don't want to hear this square shit for no $200. Then, then what hurts most is when you know you casting pearls before swine, you know you motherfucking wasting time. You know that you just sit up there and you just said some of the coldest shit and you know this nigga gonna let this game drop to the wayside. You didn't say some of the most profound, this is when you know you being used by the game. You saying shit and game just proceeding out of your mouth, the anointing of this game is just coming out your mouth and you, and you even astonished at your motherfucking self. You ready to choose your motherfucking self because of this motherfucking game that's coming out your mouth. And knowing this square ass nigga ain't gonna sit up there and apply this shit. So nah, we not doing that no more. Yeah, we not doing that no more, man. You know what I mean? So yeah, if you wanna chop it up uh, this month, you know what I mean, for $200 an hour, yeah, I, 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 I you know. But after this, no. And I'm really raising it up. Not so much of the, the financials. Really, you know, to get away from a lot of you. Because, you know, by me having it $200, you know, it gives accessibility to a lot of individuals that really shouldn't even have that with me. And then for me to listen to, to, to the, the crying and the gnashing of teeth, you know what I mean, of a nigga sitting over there crying like a widow in my ear, you know, or ask, and then some of the shit that y'all be asking me questions on, I be like, damn, I got a two or three hour live on that. He didn't have to give me that $200, man. He could have just watched this video and that video, man. I said that shit already. Why? He, he, he must just want to just talk to me. You know what I mean? I've, I've said this a hundred million motherfucking times. You know what I mean? Seeing what letter come after A. Like, goddamn, a uh, nigga. Seeing what's the next number after one. Like, come on. <laughs> man, you could have kept that little $2, man, and left me alone, man. You can't be listening to this square ass shit. Man, goddamn. So, I'm letting you know, uh, this will be the last month. 
I'm putting it out there. Seeing what will what would be. Listen, I've already told you know what I mean. Uh, certain clients, you know what I mean. They fuck with me like that, and they actually just keep it. They've been fucking with me like that, you know. So um, yeah, we won't be doing no more uh, two hundred dollars. Won't be no more of that. Yeah. Moving on. Um, as far as uh, Lil Kelpie, because y'all like, P, Lil Kelpie, Lil Kelpie. I know Lil Kelpie is listening. So let me say this to Lil Kelpie. Uh, everybody praising you for, you know, doing this and doing that. But right now, bro, Lil Bro, you just getting a, a bunch of clout. You're not really getting to the money. Because if you was really serious about your money, you know what I mean? Where's your, where, where's your merch? Where's your music? You rap. The moment that you, that little uh, 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 mighty situation, you know what I mean, happened on No Jumper, you should immediately had a song come out. You should have been dissing him or speaking on that situation, all of that. You were supposed to have a song. You were supposed to drop a video. You don't realize how hot you are. You just, you, you and Adam just sat down and no disrespect to Adam, but, you know, Adam to me is boring. See, I'm not sucking dick and kissing ass and trying to be people's friends to, to be on their platform. If I can't be as raw as I am on the Sinful to P channel or on their platform, I really don't need, you know, and it ain't, I, I know y'all like saying that's too arrogant. You know what I mean? It would be nice to, I don't need no jumper. Let's make that straight. I don't need no jumper, man. I don't know if you realize it, man, but I be going days, sometime a week. Sometime I've went months. One time I went over a year without being on YouTube. Man, I'm pimping in real life. <laughs> I don't need this shit. I appreciate, you know what I mean, uh, what it does, but man, I really love teaching the game. I really love preaching the game. It ain't about uh, the little subs and, and all of that. Uh-uh. I'm not saying things to, ooh, maybe one day I can get on Vlad. Ooh, one day I can get on, <laughs> I can get on No Jumper. Man, I don't give a fuck about that. You know how many bums done been on No Jumper? You know how many no talented, no, no talent, no gift having motherfuckers done been on No Jumper, man? That ain't shit to me. So, you know, I, I know some of y'all like, sin, don't mess up your chance. Adam might let you on. Man, fuck all of that. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I said what I said. Adam boring as hell. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe he, I don't know what he got with the porno. Like, when they was having that little porno conversation, uh, talking about dicks and shit like that, I had to stop the video. I had to stop the video for a little minute, man. Yeah, seeing why you came back. Because they told me, you know, Kelby had mentioned me. So I had came back. But, man, that, that interview had got strange as hell. When motherfuckers would sit up there talking about, they, they, them niggas was just, motherfuckers were just sitting down talking about dicks and shit, and they were smiling and, you know, laughing about, you know what I mean, the dicks and sizes and all that. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah, this ain't for me. You know, Adam always kind of been a little strange. I mean, he might be a good dude. You know, maybe if I met him, I might get another vibe. But, yeah, he, he kind of strange. He kind of, kind of a little weird. And I don't have to kiss nobody ass to come on. I know that's y'all dream. Y'all be fasting 40 days and 40 nights, you know what I mean, to be on no jumper. But uh, when I look at my goals and the things I'm endeavoring to do, uh, uh, being on no jumper is not one of them. Being on Vlad TV is not one of them. Again, if I can't be as raw and uncut as I am here on a person's platform, if I have to, you know, do this or, okay, hey, hey, Sin, could you just... Uh, uh, chill out. And see, that's what my new platform is going to be for. When I come out with the, uh, the game with no profanity channel, you know, everybody will go over there. But as far as like the uh, just pure uncut seeing, yeah, man, uh, nothing will be like that. I know I can't do that on them other channels and shit. So I'm cool over here. You know, as far as the YouTube shit, hey, man, my shit ain't been in the green since I don't know when. My shit is not monetized. That's why when you come to this channel, you don't see no goddamn commercials or none of that shit. You don't. 
Only money I'm really checking, man, is from, from that goddamn Patreon and my consultations. You know what I mean? From YouTube, eh, ain't nothing to talk about. This shit ain't monetized, man. But I love just getting on here just saying whatever the fuck I want to say, how the fuck I want to say it. It is what it is. But look, um, to Kelby, man, uh, get on your shit. I don't know who listening to you. They be they saying that uh, I don't want to say dude name. I don't know him. But they saying that you got a manager now and you signed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know. But whoever is like coaching you or guiding you, fire them. They're not really guiding you right. They're not presiding over you right. Because if somebody was really serious about, um, you know, basically, you know what I mean, your career, you know, as a YouTuber or as an entertainer or whatever, you should have had music out by now. You should have had merch out right now. Do you understand that you got a video that's 3 million views and it ain't even been a week yet? You trip it. Then you just come out with another video less than 24 hours. You had a half of a million. You plan. You don't have no music. You don't have no merch. You're not going live on your own channel. Like, I don't know what's wrong with you. But right now, it's looking like laziness. Like, them little interviews is cute, but you're not doing anything for your platform. That's what I was trying to get to Sharp. Right now, he's hot. Right now, he's that dude. Right now, everybody's looking at Sharp. So it would only make sense for Sharp to go live on his platform, not just for reactions, you know, but to go on his platform and do whatever he wants to do to promote himself. You don't know if No Jumper is going to be here for you tomorrow. So you always want to have, you should have been, nigga, motherfucker should have been had a, a website. As many women that love Sharp and think Sharp is the sexiest dude on the planet, that, man, he should have been had merch, some Sharp merch. You know what I'm saying? He just, he that dude. Kelby, right now, you're that hot where you can sit up there and come out with some merch. You got uh, squares, you know what I mean, that will support you. Believe it or not, you have people that genuinely like you. They like, hey man, this kid is cool. He got his he got his ass beat. He ain't uh hating about it. You know what I mean? He ain't he don't want to kill nobody. He back on like there is some people that like you. So yeah, get on your money, man. You slipping. You know, I don't know who's informing you, but or encouraging you to do this and do that, but yeah. Let me see. Um, oh yeah. Let me let me say this uh before I get to certain uh questions and things like that. Uh it was a video posted, some of y'all already know, on my uh Patreon. And it had um Though I just say this, matter of fact, I'ma just call out names. I ain't sugarcoating shit. You know, sinful we it's a new month. And uh yeah, I'm coming through the door with it. But yeah, man, it's this video on YouTube that's over 30,000 views. And it got Gov, G Gov, and a few more other individuals. And they're speaking in the video. Uh Gov was saying some things. He was saying, you know, that Sharp has not brought any church members on uh, No Jumper on his show. And this was right after Big Church uh, was out there. And, you know, Big Church stay in my uh, comment section, you know, crying. I hope he get another big video or whatever, or the digital pivot, pivot off the ground or what have you, because... Ever since I did that, and that's been a while now since I did that review. You know what I mean? Big Church just be up in my uh, comment section. You ain't no pimp. You know, nigga, fuck you. Well, he just be saying all type of weird shit. I hope y'all support him with his lame ass music and everything. You know what I mean? Whatever he trying to do, I really hope y'all help dude out. You know what I mean? Seriously. Because he been crying. Big Church been crying in my comment section Ever since then, you know what I mean? So I'm like, damn, little mama, that shit, oh, that shit damn near a year. It might even be a year. I don't know. But 
Uh, yeah, man. You know, let that go, homie. But okay, listen. So basically, Gov has said that, you know, Sharp ain't brought no church members. And what he meant by church member, the church, you know, uh, you know, authentic members. And some of y'all was like, what you mean? He brought Gorgeous Dre. He brought woo, woo, woo. Those are not church members. So, you know, as far as with that situation, uh, I say I'm going to tell it like it is. Once I found out that Gov and Shark never physically been around each other, I'm like, well, shit, he don't know him. He don't really know him like that. And so Shark really wasn't obligated to say, hey, because you a uh, part of the church, you know, let me put you on my platform and let me, you know what I mean? No. And let me say this, you know, I love Chicago, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'm just got to put that out there too. You know what I mean? I love the city. But there's some individuals from the city, man, I don't fuck with. And they don't fuck with me. And that's fine. You know what I mean? But I'm not obligated to, uh, man, let me put you on the platform or let me. Man, hell no. If a nigga never pimp side by side with you ever campaign side by side with you and just know you through another individual. Man, they're not obligated to bring, Sharp not obligated to bring uh, him or anybody else on that platform that he don't have an interest in bringing. Real talk. Some people had that shit even fucked up with Kevin Samuels. You know, how come big, how come Kevin Samuels don't, you know what I mean, put me on this platform? He wasn't obligated to put you on his platform. When Kevin blew up, he didn't, he didn't, you know, Donovan sounded like a bitch when he was saying all of that shit. You a man and you on your platform crying because another man didn't want to bring you on his platform. That's bitch shit. And I don't care who don't like it. I just got to say it. I got to say it like it is. Man, that's bitch shit. What the fuck I look like crying for somebody? Hey, man, can I come on your show? Hey, man, you know, when you gonna let me come on your platform? That's unfly. Fly niggas don't do that. The spirit of flyness should have kept a nigga from saying anything such as that. I even had to rebuke some of you niggas when you be like, hey, sin, you still ain't accepted. You ain't accepted my request on Instagram. <laughs> What man begs another man to accept him on his Instagram? Nigga, it's over 1,400 motherfuckers waiting to sit up there and follow, you know what I mean, uh, uh, me on IG. Nigga, I'm not about to go through all of these ugly motherfuckers, man, to find you. Goddamn. But some of y'all, y'all, you feel too entitled. And I don't know where that's coming from. You know, but... I just got to keep it real. In that Donovan situation and even in the G-Gov situation, lame. It's just lame. I'm not sugarcoating shit. Oh, seeing you're going to get a call up. Man, I can give a lovely fuck. That was lame. I wouldn't even ask a man, can I be on his show? See, I like to be invited. I don't want to sweat nobody or I don't want to make a video you know what I mean? Saying, yeah, how come you ain't put me on? How come? How, what's, that, what's that part in the movie? Hey, what, hey Vita, why are you playing with my frog? Like, man, get your, that shit lame. That was lame as hell. I felt embarrassed because he from Chicago. We don't get down like that. And then if you're going to ask a motherfucker, Ask a motherfucker on the phone. We don't sit up there on no uh 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 fucking Instagram and shit with squares is coming in and out of the live. And, and let me say this: if I'm a part of an organization or a club or a team, I'm not gonna speak against none of the members of that team, none of the members of that family, none of the members of that organization on a public platform. And, you know, giving a square an opportunity to sit up there and stir up some mess. I'm not going to do that. 
That's like me going live and I'm speaking again. You know what I'm saying? Freeze ain't never, you know, had me come on this channel. Like he calling me his brother, but he ain't never had me. You know, he ain't never shouted me out. You know what I mean? On his rap song. He ain't never called me. That's lame. That's lame. Again, I'm not I'm not sugarcoating up. Lame. The shit was lame. And for you young pimps, we don't do that. I would never sit up there. Matter of fact, Sharp, even if you like, yeah, uh, loved one, maybe we should do some reactions and you know, woo woo woo. I ain't even replied back to that. I kept speaking about what I was speaking on because I know that both of us are um the type of guys we are, we would clash. So, you know, it was just best that we play it the way we play it now. Some people you just know that it's just good to be cordial with, fellowship with, or if you see them campaigning, you know what I mean? But as far as like doing this type of shit with, hell no. Uh-uh. No, no. That's a, that's a confrontation waiting to happen. And it's imperative to make the game look good. And I know that, you know, that wouldn't make the game look good in the latter end. You know, because I'm not even going to get into all of that. But again, I would never ask another man. Matter of fact, no man could tell you that, yeah, CN asked me to come on his platform. Yeah, CN asked me, you know what I mean, could he, you know what I mean, hey man, hey man, can I go live with you? Hey, man, hey, hey, can I come on your show? Lame. <laughs> Lame. We don't do that. You know, he want to tap in. Uh, well, you know, blessings to Yuck. Me and Yuck already spoke. I told him in the game's appointed time. Blessings to Yuck Mouth. You know what I mean? Yuck Mouth got a song called Pimp That Bitch. That's my favorite song by Yuck Mouth. You can look that up. You know, but lame. I just got to put that out there. We don't do that. Get my likes all the way up. We should have been at a thousand likes. Hit the thumbs up button. Lame. We don't do that. When you're good at what you do, the big dogs come looking for. Right. I'm going to just say this. If a motherfucker well respected and known for doing what he do and do it how he do it, Hey, in the game's appointed time, as you humble yourself, the game will exalt you. But to ask a motherfucker, hell no. Uh-uh. Can I be on, can I be on your shit? Can I come on with you? Can I come? Hell no. Can't nan nigga tell. This is what I like about my pimp testimony. Can't nan pimp. Everybody can't say what I'm about to say. But can't Nan Pimp say he broke on me? Can't Nan Pimp say, yeah, you know, uh, sinful paid for some game from me? Nope. Can't no, can't no pimp say he jugged me? <laughs> you know? Now, Freeze, my brother, you know, we done looked out for each other. We done did so much for each other. We done, you know, we done lost count. But outside of my brotherhood with my brother, hell no. Can't no pimp say he jugged me. Can't no pimp say he broke on me. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, for some, none of that. Can't no pimp say he made me. Can't no pimp say, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? He didn't know how to do this. And, you know, uh, sin didn't know how to get down. You know what I mean? With the thief, thieving game. So, you know what I mean? I, I taught him. I, I allowed his hoes, you know what I mean? To uh, go with mine. And that's how they became thieves. No. Can't no pimp say he made my pimping. Can't no pimp say he broke on me. Can't no pimp say I paid for a, a pimp trophy. Can't no pimp say, you know what I mean, that I uh I I, I was behind close. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pay for the pimp of the year award. Or I'm gonna pay for this recognition. Or I'm gonna pay for Don to shout me out. Can't nobody say that with me. And one of the reasons for that is, you know what I mean, because before I got in the game, I know who I was as a man. 
I didn't come into the game searching for importance. I was already born with that. Oh, man, that's why I appreciate holiness. You know, I, I see, you got to break a bitch. You got to have some materialistics. You got to dress like or have that to feel like how I felt when I was born. We different. So, again, I never idolized. I just sit up there, you understand me, and get, I, you know, honored, you know, different individuals, you know what I mean, that I have a liking for, a love for, but as far as having praise and worship service for another P, no. You know, so, no. Can't, I never paid for no trophies. I never paid for recognition. I never uh, paid for none of that. I just wasn't into paying. I told, what did I teach you guys? If somebody give you some game and lace you, they shouldn't have to ask for no money. If somebody take out the time to lace you and bless you with game, why did they even have to ask you or tell you to give them some money or to do something for them? Your love for the game should have compelled you to be a blessing to the man that enabled you to be in position to have everything that you got in possession now. It should have been in you to be a blessing to the messenger that blessed you with the messages. It should have been in you. I just got to keep it all the way 100. It should have been in you. Should nobody have to tell you, hey, uh, I'm going to charge you this or that. No, not when you really love the game. Some people be paying for wrecking it, paying for this. Or, you, no. When people really love you or people really see it in you, when people see you understand me like, yeah, he, he got the capability. He got the ministry. He got the identity. I can see his destiny in the game. They will be compelled to lace you with game. That's why you never hear me say no shit like, uh, yeah, man, the game is to be sold, not to be told. It's true to a certain extent, but you don't hear me saying that shit because it could be a young pimp that don't even have no money. He could be currently and temporarily holeless and doleless. And he might be around some veteran pimping. And that veteran pimp can see that that young pimp is temporarily going through it. And one of the reasons why he's going through it is because he has not been properly laced right about the game. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't been properly laced right. So because he has not been properly laced right about the game, that veteran pimp feel compelled to allow that jewelry to come out of his mouth and lace that young pimp so he can avoid some misunderstandings. And so basically the, the uh, older seasoned lace pimp, you understand me, blesses that pimp. He never said, okay, let me get $5,000 out you. Or, you know, when you get your next hoe, woo, 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 woo. No. I see it in you. I can smell it on you. I can see, you understand me, the, the manifestation of it, not because of a situation that you have, because of the man that you are. See, that's when it's really in you. When you got veteran pimps, when you got honorable, legendary representation of this game talking to you for hours upon hours, you know what I mean? Because they genuinely like you. They can see it in you and you didn't pay a dime. But see, a lot of you wouldn't know about that because a lot of you was getting broke, you know, uh, like a hoe. And I'm not mad at, at the older veterans for breaking y'all. <laughs> like, you know, no, I, no, if they break, hey, hey. If you, if you see, you know what I mean, a sucker, then hey, lick them. Some of the older veterans be lying to a lot of y'all. For they benefit. It is what it is on that. Some of them be lying to y'all, making you believe that you this. They know you not this. They know you not some pimping. Them niggas know you ain't some pimping. They be they be even lying to some of you white guys 
you know what I mean, telling you that you got a chance. They be even lying to, I'm going to make it a race. Thing. They be lying to some of you niggas, you black guys. You know what I mean? They be lying to niggas and hunkies. You know what I mean? Got you guys thinking that you could be this pimping. Yeah, buy my book. Buy this. Buy this. Buy this. Buy, buy, yeah, I just came out with a new book. I just came out with a new film. Get this. Get that. Man, nigga, no, you ain't got an ounce of pimping in you. Just some more. Just some more of it. Still having it my way. Glory to the game. Man, appreciate that. Hey, man, and that profile picture looking very fly. Yeah. That profile picture looking like you just, you just broke some motherfucking hoes around this bitch. <laughs> Shout out to Impost Travels Adventures, man. Yeah, it look like you just broke the bitch, man. Hey, get my likes to 800, man. Yeah, y'all playing around this motherfucker. You know? But, yeah, when you really this pimping, man, the pimping don't be trying to break on no real pimp like he some hoe. Uh-uh. Not when it's real pimping. And see, let me put that in there too. Real pimping. You don't even got to tell that young P to be. Shout out to Brandon too. You know what I mean? I see you with the cash app. Damn, appreciate that hundred on the PayPal. Good looking, baby. You know, but yeah, man, when you really this pimping, motherfuckers feel obligated. They feel... You understand me? Move by the game to bless you with game. You know, when it's really real with you. You don't got to pay like a hoe to get some more of it. And then when you get some more of it, uh, a pimp ain't got to tell you, hey, do this for me or do that for me. You know, you just obligated to be a blessing to the one that was a blessing to you. But, I mean, that's how it is amongst the real but i know i'm speaking a foreign language to a lot of y'all because a lot of y'all didn't get broke you know what i mean like hoes look at all the individuals that paid to be on maroy's films where are they now where are those guys that was paying oh man i'm not even gonna call no name where are them guys that paid 10 and 15 and twenty thousand to be in them cross-country pimping films Question, how they doing today? How they doing today? I remember when I was in prison. And shout out to Gerald for that 50, man. Blessings to you. I appreciate that, famo. Good looking. Good looking, man. Uh, but I remember when I was in the pen. And all I kept hearing was T-Banks, 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 T-Banks. You remember that? It was just a time when, man, like, all you heard, T-Banks, T-Banks, all the young niggas in the pen, you know, motherfuckers was coming in from the streets. Man, that nigga T-Banks, man, T-Banks, man, T-Banks, T-Banks, man, T-Banks, everything with T-Banks. <laughs> I was like, I was saying to myself, man, these niggas going to get out, man, and put on some heels and go get it for T-Banks, man. They say his name with excitement. <laughs> Everything was T-Banks, T-Banks, T-Banks. Like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? I was listening to a lot of the shit that they were saying, and in my mind, I was like, damn, that sounds stupid as a motherfucker. I hope he didn't say that. But he say, uh, like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Seeing when you get out, yeah, man, that cross-country shit, man, it's the hottest shit out, man, for the game, man. Yeah, man, that nigga T-Banks, man, he say, uh, you know what I mean? He ain't touching a black bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? He he said he the KKK, man. You know what I mean? He only fucking went to snow. I'm just listening. I'm like, wow, y'all was excited about that? <laughs> y'all was excited about that, huh? You know? They're like, yeah, man. They say, man, he, he moving like the KKK, man. He ain't fucking with no black bitch, man. You know what I mean? He fucking with nothing but the snow, man. He said, man, these old niggas, they just been in the way, man. And woo, 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 woo. I'm talking about they was, the way that they were speaking about T-Banks, man, it was the way that motherfuckers were speaking in Chicago, you know what I mean, about Jordan in 91, man. Like, <laughs> It was just too, it was too much. And, and this ain't no hater shit, but, you know, it's just some hater shit. Because, you know, I hate anything that's, um, 
not real. Uh, so listen, you know, of course, uh, years go by. And I'm not even going to speak on a, a certain situation. I'm going to just leave that alone. That ain't for the internet. But my only question is, where are they now? All the individuals that you, a lot of them guys that you seen yelling and screaming on them DVDs, some of them guys is truck drivers. Some of them guys got their CDL and they became truck drivers. Some of them guys is husbands. You know, husbands, man. I'm not going to say no names, but certain individuals, man, I just be thinking to myself, God damn, you know, um, you in 20 some years or 30 some years or 15 years doing this and that, man, you could have skipped past all of them. Just imagine that if you had took all that energy and you had put that into being a truck driver. Because it don't make no sense in the end if I'm screaming, pip this, pip it, pip it, pip it, pip it, pip it. Only for me to end up a husband to a woman that never sold pussy a day in her life. And if I asked her to sell some pussy, she'd probably smack me and be like, don't disrespect me like that. I'm a queen. You know, uh, only to end up with a bitch that would get upset at me for calling her a bitch. <laughs> and, you know, and to be a truck driver. You know, goddamn. Well, you didn't even have to go all them goddamn years, man. You know, uh, you know, uh, deceiving these women into thinking that you was a pimp, man. You could have been got out the way and got your CDL and, uh, you know, drove them trucks. <laughs> you know, but he just, you saying, what's his name? You mean, what's their name? <laughs> it's just so much you little niggas don't know. You know what I mean? And by the way, I'm not saying that T-Banks is uh, a truck driver. No, that's not what I'm saying. You know, with that one, I was speaking about uh, another group of people. I don't know what T-Banks T, T Banks is like Carmen San Diego right now, man. The, I have you know uh, the Shy Lights used to sing a, a song back in the day called "Have You Seen Her?" You know what I mean? Yeah, have you seen her? You know, all I'm saying is, and that's not to uh, bring down a dim his light. I'm just simply saying that when it's the internet fame, or when it's a DVD fame instead of street fame, because whether you little niggas know it or not. Uh, before YouTube, before social media, I was already going cross country with this pimping. That's why I felt very offended when even uh, this little square dude, I understand, he was trying to lick on uh, uh, Johnny Cash nuts and he was trying to get good in with Johnny, but he was just doing too much. He's like, yeah, man, it hit different when, you know, you in the streets and, what? and I'm in my mind like, Nigga, I done pimped on Blaze and been in circumstances that Johnny ain't never even been in. What are you talking about? Johnny has no California record of pimping. He's never even pimped in Cali. He don't know what that west side of Chicago do. He can't tell you nothing about Fig. He can't give you nothing about no e one foes. He can't tell you about no Washington and Claiborne's. You know, I mean, Washington and Kilbourne. I said Washington and Claiborne. He can't tell you about no Washington and Kilbourne. He ain't never been on them. He get to his money. I respect that. But when you speaking about street shit and street circumstances, man, don't you ever do that again. I felt so, I felt the vexation to my spirit. Nigga, he ain't never pimped in them circumstances. He ain't never pimped his way out of them type of circumstances. Little nigga, what are you talking about? I felt offended. All these little internet dudes. You know what I mean? You think I'd be able to be on the internet and talk the shit the way that I talk this shit if it wasn't real? You think that I would, uh, if it wasn't real, that I didn't have the representation given confirmation about the times, you understand me, when this transpired and that transpired and when that transpired? Hell no. So this is all I'm saying to, and this ain't to dim his little light, but the little Kelpies and you know, the, the, the little, the internet sensations and shit. I'm here to tell you that, uh, you know, when it comes from the internet, when it comes from a DVD, when it comes from films and shit, hey, you might get a cool little run, but just know that, you know, if it's not authentic, 
man, that run is uh, definitely going to be cut short. You know, now you have some authentic peas on some of them DVDs and films and shit like that. I can't say that everybody was, no. But for the most part, a lot of them guys that y'all was hollering and screaming their name and having praise and worship service now, man, them guys was full-fledged, 100% up and down squares now. And there's nothing wrong with that. Blessings to them. They found their true calling. I just wish they would have found it a while ago. Because like I said, you know what I mean? What sense does it make for me to start driving trucks in my 50s when I could have been doing that in my 20s? Wouldn't that make sense for me to have 30 years of truck driving, you know, under me rather than 15, 20 years of being in criminality only for me to find and, and, and saying shit like fuck squares and square shit make me sick only to sit up there and be driving trucks in the end, living like a square with a square ass girlfriend in the end. <laughs> Might as well have took the 30 years as a truck driver and just be what you really are. Speaking against uh, gigolo behavior, speaking against boyfriend behavior, only to be a gigolo and a boyfriend and be doing tricky shit in the end. What was it done for? Your so-called pimping was in vain, I would have to say. See, look at different elevations of different peas. You know, uh, who 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 would you say who would you say is that nigga? Hey, and I'm not just saying this because that's my brother, but that's what you want to be. You want to be in a position as a pimp where even when you make a transition to something else, you speaking you speaking the word. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? I'm not talking about working jobs and you know uh, working for Pepsi Company and or being married to some fat wife. Uh, that, no, 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 no. I mean, speaking the word, like when you look at Dre's positions, speaking the word. He's lectured at colleges, speaking the word, speaking the game. When you seen him come out with his book, what was he doing? Speaking the game. <laughs> Uh, when he came out with his film, what was he doing? Speaking the game. When Dre basically changed the law, you know what I mean? Uh, brought the, uh, for the law of uh, accountability. How did he do that? Did he have a Phillips screwdriver, a hammer in his hand? No, speaking the word. See, everything that he has, you know what I mean? Most, most of the time, the stuff that we're looking at, Yes, it's not, you know, in the lifestyle anymore, but it's still the game. It's still the game. That motherfucker was on like the 40 or something floor, you know what I mean, uh, looking at, you know what I mean, the city, looking over the city. That's, that's the game. All that other shit that these motherfuckers be doing, it ain't no disrespect, but you just gotta, you just gotta call it like it is, man. Uh, that ain't where a pimp want to be. It's just like when y'all be bringing up Iceberg Slim. Iceberg Slim, in the end, set up there, you understand me, and married a bride that abhorred pimping. She even said, she's like, sometime here, bring up that little pimp shit to me. You know what I mean? And I'll be like, hey, hey, watch who you talking to. I'm not one of them little hoes that you used to have back in the day. You know, hold on. Did you hear what I said? The bitch said, hey, you don't, hey, don't talk to me like I'm one of your little hoes. I'm not one of your little hoes. Get it right, Mr. Man. And he said, she said that, uh, you know, uh, uh, I don't know what he talking about. But, you know, she would say that, you know, he'd get it together after that. Now, here y'all is, you know, keep bringing up Iceberg Slim name to me. When this is a man, and this ain't no disrespect, because I heard when he was active, you know, he was doing his things. But 
that how you end is very important in your pimping. And that ending just ain't pimpish to be killing roaches and, you know, with a wife that abhors the life and that ain't pimpish. I'm just telling it like it is. P, man, you being disrespectful. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Very, that you know, I thought it was disrespectful for the pimp to be killing roaches and be married to a woman that has no honor for the game. If anything, that's disrespectful. So, but, I mean, teach his own. You know what I mean? Shout out to Bill uh, for posting that link. Yeah, but I just had to put that out uh, out there. Um, little baby, I'm going to just do this one for you. You know, because I don't know whether you with some pimping or not. But I told the ladies, and this don't just go out to her, but this go out to all the ladies uh, they want to ask me a question, but you can't call in because you supposedly, you know, got some folks or you got a man or whatever your situation may be. You don't want your husband, your boyfriend, your bookie, you know, your boo thing. You don't want him to know that you're listening to the real thing. Uh, and so you're scared. And so you want to ask me questions. I told you guys, you can put your question in my DM. And you could put whether or not, because if you don't tell me to say your name, I'm not going to say your name. So you could just put your question in the DM and I'm not going to say uh, such and such cherry underscore 304 that got folks. You know what I mean? She's asking <laughs> and the pimping be driving around. Hold on, man. That's my hoe. That's my bitch. <laughs> you know, so just letting you ladies know you're never out of pocket when you're talking to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never, you, you not, you ain't in the pocket. And then some of y'all not in the pocket anyway. You know what I mean? You ain't doing nothing but paying a nigga that you liking them. And that ain't in pocket. You was never really in pocket. You got to get in the pocket to get out of pocket. Baby, you not really in no pocket. You, you don't even respect that motherfucker that you with right now. Yeah. So if you not in the spirit of submission, obedience, uh, to the man that's presiding over you uh, currently, you know what I mean, right now, then in all honesty, baby, just being real with you, you're not in pocket. You got to be in pocket to get out of pocket. And so some of you could never really get out of pocket because you were never in pocket. You were never in the spirit of submission and obedience and humility to this man. You were just giving currency to that man. And just because you're giving currency to that man, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're in pocket with that man. You know, because see, when you're in pocket with, let me just give you ladies this. When you're in pocket with that man, that means that you don't reply to another man. That means that you're complying with the man that you with so much that you never reply to another man. You never comply or apply, you know, anything that another man is saying and conveying when you truly in pocket. When you truly in pocket, that means that when that man is not physically around you, you conduct yourself as if he was physically around you. He could be on another planet. And because you're in pocket with that man's pimping, even in another planet, you're going to conduct yourself as if that man is still omnipresent, physically present around you. That's what it means to be in pocket. You don't even want to hear somebody else's ism. You don't even want to hear anybody else's knowledge and wisdom. You don't even want, you even get a vexation of spirit listening to an active pimp rap over an instrumental when you truly are in pocket with that man's pimping. You say, hey, I can't listen to him. He's active in the game. I don't want to listen to nobody else. You might be in the car or something, and, you know, pimping, playing some music, and he might say, well, hold on, bitch, what's wrong? Uh, I think that person is active. I don't want to hear anybody. I don't want to hear nobody pimping but yours. I'm so into your pimping that I don't even want to hear anybody else's. I don't even want to hear nobody else even talk about this unless you give me permission and even then, I feel kind of like, uh, you know, 
That's when you really in pocket. Oh my God, I got it. That's another message. You know, that's another message, man. You know, even you squares that's listening right now, ask yourself, do, is you in pocket with your husband like that? See, what I, I'm speaking pivot and horn, but man, this shit's so cold right now. Even you squares can get some. When your husband ain't physically around you, when your so-called man ain't physically around you, do you conduct yourself, you know, on that job as if your man or your husband, you know what I mean, is physically around you? Or do you be flirting? Do you be laughing at jokes that ain't even funny? Do you be giving too much, you know what I mean, ear time to people who be flirting with you, smiling at you, giving you compliments and things like that? And you sitting over there, look at the way you even said, I got a man. <laughs> oh, well, I'm taking it. <laughs> I'm in a relationship. <laughs> you laughing, smiling. The person talking to you say, oh, yeah, I can get her. I can get you. All I got to do is keep campaigning. You know what I mean? That you. Yeah, look at the way. Because, see, I'm dangerous. A woman can't play with me. I'm married or... I'm in a relationship. I listen to tones of voices. See, because as a singer, you know, when you sing something, you got to be on key. You know, when you're singing, right? Because no matter how good the song is, when a person ain't singing on key, it don't hit right. Ain't no Grammys going to come out of that. Ain't no platinum records going to come out of that. Why? Because it's off key. But see, when you own key, that's when the currency, you know what I mean, come in. So it's just like that with this game. It's just like this with, you know what I mean, with that husband and wife thing, with that man and woman thing, that pimp and hoe thing. When you own key with the man that you with, you don't want to march to the beat of another man's drum. You don't even give... You know what I mean? This man, an uh, uh, inkling of thinking that, you know, there's an opportunity to be had if you keep sweating me, if you keep campaigning, if you keep pressing the issue. I'm with him because I'm just with him. But if you keep, you know what I mean, staring at me, you can have me. You don't even give him that type of impression. When you on key with your husband, when you on key with your man, when you on key with the pimping. What am I saying when you in pocket? Some of you are completely out of pocket. You out of pocket at your job. You out of pocket in your community. You out of pocket at the store. You out of pocket at the mall. You just uh, out of pocket. Tell somebody and say you're just an out of pocket bitch. <laughs> Lean over to your neighbor and say, neighbor, you out of pocket bitch. <laughs> You know, I know why most of you don't want to be in the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing because just like you got to be a man before you a pimp, you got to be a woman before you a hoe. And most of you can't fulfill the prerequisites of being a woman. So any lifestyle that requires you to be a woman, you run from that because it's submission in that. It's humility in that. You got to be humble. Humility. Submission, femininity, what getting into a continuity of listening to this man, listening to instructions. Oh, hell no. That sound weak. That's a weak bitch. Oh, that's weak. See, I'm a woman. I got my own mind and I, 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 my own ideas and all that stupid shit. All of these justifiable excuses in your mind. To why you can't be a goddamn woman. All of these so-called justifiable excuses of why you can't keep a man. You know? That's why I said, man. Holding that bitch accountable. Holding that. I know it's hard for you niggas to do. But I'm holding that glass up. I'm holding this game up. I'm holding this plumb line up. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. He's con right. He's controlling. He's controlling. He has toxic masculinity. Oh my God. He's not understanding. We're equals. Bitch, we not equal in nothing. 
Not a goddamn thing. We not eat. And guess what? As a man, when you're constantly producing greatness, when you're constantly, constantly uh, producing excellence, this is when you can talk like that. Because you're exemplifying the behavior, you know what I mean, of a disciplined man. And so because you have became the message that you teach, because you are a day to day message that you preach, you know, you can talk like that. Do you hear me? You can talk like that. You can talk that shit and it got to be respected. Why? Because of the way you conducted yourself. You know, you can talk, tell that woman that you can hold her accountable. Why? Because you've been an example of what a man should be, a leader should be, the head should be. And so because you have been an example, you can hold her accountable. Hold that bitch accountable. In 2000, like they say, make America great again. Hold that bitch accountable again in 2023. Hold that bitch accountable today. Hold that bitch accountable, man. Hold them accountable. But that's another, but again, you know, some of you, oh, I feel so out of pocket. No, you don't, bitch. You're not even in a pocket. Like I said, I might have to teach that at a later time, but you got to be in a pocket to get out of a pocket. And some of you've never been in pocket. So in all actuality, you're not out of pocket, baby. When, you know, I mean, you listen to my videos or, you know, you in my DM and things like that. Uh-uh. And if you're a woman and you can sincerely say in your mind that you've learned more game from my videos than the man that you're paying, then, you know, what you feel sorry for anyway. If anything, you should feel stupid because here you are getting more game from goddamn YouTube videos than the man that you sitting over there putting money in the hand of every day. Bitch, that's stupid. But that's another, that's another. We're going to leave that alone. That's another. Touch somebody and say, that's another show. That's, that's another video. But... A bitch did ask me, and I did. I was like, I got to keep that in mind because when I go live, I want to make that public. And I'm going to speak on it a little bit, but I'm going to end up making it a video uh, one of these days. But um, renegade do be getting thrown around a lot. Now, of course, I didn't agree with this big head bitch, and I know she's smiling listening to this. You know who you are. But, um, you know... Renegade does get thrown around a lot. Oh, man, you a renegade. You a renegade. You a renegade. Fag bitch and renegade do get thrown around a lot. You know, it's just used out of place a lot. And I do agree that renegade uh, can be ambiguous. I believe that. But I will say that we have individuals that just label, you know, women renegades in all actuality. She's not really a renegade. Now, let me just say this. All representatives will have different perspectives. All representatives will have different perspectives. This is just mine. Mine's might be contrary to yours. So when I open up the phone lines, it would be a good uh, time for you to debate me and say, sin, you know, I appreciate you speaking on the game, but you're incorrect on this. And I'm going to respect it. While you're talking, I'm going to give you the floor. When I'm speaking, I hope you do the same thing. But if I said anything contrary to the game that needs to be debated or needs to be checked, corrected, you have nothing but opportunity and liberty uh, to do your thing. But let me just say this to you. Um, you know, in a circumstance where a woman was paying a pimp and the pimping, you know, uh, might be temporarily incarcerated or let's just say if he is incarcerated, 
and he don't have an expiration date as far as getting back into uh, society and getting his liberty uh, again. They acting as if he going to be in a correctional facility for an eternity, even if it's one of those circumstances. If that woman is conducting herself as if that man is still physically in the streets and still around her, I wouldn't label her as a renegade. You know, now, of course, she can't pay him the way she want to pay him because uh, he's, you know, locked up. Uh, but at the same particular time, if she's conducting herself and still checking in with that man and handling that man business, even while he's incarcerated, I wouldn't say the renegade is applicable to her. Not at all. If let's say if a woman has a pimp and he get killed or he die in a car accident or he die from natural causes or what have you, right? I wouldn't say that that bitch is a renegade because Pippin died or got killed, you know, and so instantly, you know, after Pippin died, who bitch you, you bitch you a renegade and who? No, I no, no. So listen to me and listen to me good. I wouldn't allow no woman to use this for an excuse not to be with another pimp. You know, like, say, for example, let's say if a woman say, you know, my pimp, he got he got killed or he died, which is very tragic and very sad. But at the same time, you're not going to allow no woman. She talking about well, when this happened. Oh, this was uh, 1644 B.C. Listen, <laughs> if her pimp got killed or died. In 1644 BC, in other words, you know what I mean? This been a long, 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 long time ago. And I, I can hear some bitch now, but you don't know if she's healed. You don't know if she's got over that. Listen, I understand what you're saying. And she might mentally, emotionally be going through some things. But after it had been, you know, so long, bitch, like, no, nah, we can't keep allowing you to just use this as a justifiable excuse, you know what I mean, to not fucking with some pimping. You know, it don't take, you know, a millennium. It don't take a thousand years. It don't take all of this goddamn time, you know, to be with, you know, some old pimping. Now, what I will say is, a woman that comes from that circumstance, a woman that's gamed up from that circumstance, a woman that got wisdom, she got the game, her credit is good, uh, uh, house paid for, car paid for. She got some things going on because she was pimping. I mean, uh, because he was pimping on her. I said because she was pimping. Excuse me, pardon me. Because that nigga was pimping on that bitch. The nigga that died or got killed, he was pimping on that bitch. So she gamed up like a motherfucker. So she not going to just pay anybody. Okay. And it's hard for a bitch, to, especially for them hoes that only been with one pimp and only know one pimp's pimping, you know, to just be out here like a lot of you bitches with eight niggas' names on their body. She's not trying to do all of that. So she might sit up there and take a little time before she appoint the next man to preside over her life because she ain't giving away money like God giving out air. She ain't getting down like that. She's an honorable woman. And she, conduct, she conducts herself, you know, as such. You see what I'm saying? But at the same uh, time, she don't need to be waiting no, you know, uh, like if a woman say, I ain't been with no pimp ever since my pimp dad. You know what I mean? Uh, I ain't been with nobody in 15 years. Or I ain't been with nobody in 10 years. Or I ain't been with nobody, you know what I mean, in eight years. And they, uh, no. That might get past a few peas, but I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. I'm not going. Now, I understand that, you know, uh, in a situation like uh, Lauren London, only reason why Lauren London ain't never really, uh, well, to my knowledge, you know, got involved with anybody else. Look at the position that she in. 
if she was to decide to be with somebody else, you know, it would kind of tarnish and diminish her image right now. People would say, oh, it's too soon. Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. She with some, you know what I mean? So she knows the eyes of everybody is on her. So she moves accordingly. But even her, after enough time has went past, she's even going to get involved, you know, with somebody else. You know? So, yeah, man, you know, uh, just keeping that shit all the way 100, man, I'm going to say this. Uh, I know some of y'all like, damn, P, that's kind of heartless. You can't tell nobody how to grieve. But I'm going to just say this. I don't really want to hear all of that no bitch talking about. Because, see, I'm a real pimp, right? So let's say if I died or something happened to me, I don't want Nan Ho using my name and, and get this on record. If I sit up there and die, I don't want Nan bitch. You know what I mean? Because I remember one time we had an argument. It was, it was me, nice, goody, manny, and uh, another nigga. And they thought this shit was pimpish. And I just thought it was so lame, you know, but uh, Nice was like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, towards that who, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't going to be with me, you know what I mean? Go on back, you know what I mean? Do what you going to do. And Goody told me, I said, yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, when what's the name left, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, me, She been working a job and all that shit since then. You know, that bitch ain't chose up with another pimp. And they was happy about it. They was actually happy that a bitch, you know, after she leave or she get fired, she go back to being a square and, you know, uh, uh, be with a boyfriend or go get a job. I was like, man, that ain't. And, and, and see, this is when it's really in you. I didn't have no mentors and reading books and all of this shit. It was just in me. I was like, that don't sound right. It's like, what you mean? I'm like, that don't sound right. It sound like you jealous. It's this sound, this sound square. If you ain't paying me, I don't want you to be with nobody else. You just go back, you know what I mean, to being a girlfriend or, or working a job and all of that. I said, man, that sounds square as hell. That sounds square. And nice like, no, P, that don't sound, you tripping, man. You know what I mean? Why would you encourage the bitch to be with another pimp? I said, because it's still in the game. That's why it's still in the game. I had, see, I didn't need no old nigga to tell me this. It was just common peace sense to me because it's still the game. She might go, and they couldn't fuck with me when I said it. I said, she might go to another P. And he might say something and do something to make the bitch realize that, God damn, what the fuck did I leave for? You know what I mean? She might go to, and he might be a real pimp, but he might be a community college pimp. And she like, man, I'm going back to Harvard University, man. I'm going back to the game. Or I'm going back to a pimp that sincerely cared about me, man. Like, damn, I just got raped. And the nigga just told me to get, just jump in the shower and he dropped me right back off. He ain't trying to get me checked out and see if I got anything. At least when I was with Sin, you know, he mean, he not only did he take me, you know what I mean, get checked out, he prayed for me and all of that was ministering to my mind and all of that type. Man, I'm going back to Sin. I didn't know how many benefits and privileges I had, you know what I mean, when I was with him. I'm keeping the bitch in the game. I'm not, I don't want the bitch to go to no square. Shout out to that nigga Divine. Let's say if the hoe want to leave me and she with Divine, that's fine. <laughs> I'd rather for the bitch to be with Divine or Sepulveda the Prince or King Difference or, or, or Balance, you know what I mean, than one of you squares. Why? Because it's all in the game. That's why she's still in the game. And if I know that she's still in the game, she might sit up there, man, and get on Google and search for her mind one day and find the motherfucker and want to give it back to me. No, I don't want her working at Wendy's and, 
and, and, and motherfucking jack in the box and all of that shit. You know what I mean? Being with this boyfriend and, and getting pregnant and, and getting fat and, and nasty and shit and fucking up, you understand me, her, her shape and all of this shit. And by the time she come to me, now the bitch over 250 and she got two kids and all of this shit. Come on, man. Hell no. I know that if she's fucking with Pippin, Pippin's still going to be sitting over there sending her out the door. If she's fucking with Pippin, she's still going to have the spirit of the game. See, once them hoes get around squares too long and spending time with their squares, family and being around their squares, friends and got them a boyfriend and all of that, listening to all these squares, R&B songs and all of that shit, like, now the bitch just sit up there and completely backslid from the game. They couldn't fuck with me. They knew the shit was right. You know what I mean? Like, you got a point there, man. But you know what I'm saying? I'm like, ain't no point. Ain't no, ain't no point after that. You sitting over there encouraging the bitch to leave the game because she don't want to be with you? That's square. That is very square. You tell that hoe that if you decide to leave me or when you leave me, you know what I mean? You make sure you have some money, bitch. You get your money up for that interview. Because even in that interview, a pimp going to give you a preview of this, what this shit is and what this shit about. So if you're a respectable, honorable, you understand me, ho, you're going to even have money for the interview. You hear, you hear what I'm saying? Because even in the interview, you might say, well, you know, uh, I'm going to get back with you. Or you might say, you know what? I don't think that we have compatibility or I don't think that this situation you know what I mean? It's, 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 you know, for me, but at the same particular time, that's how your name get around. People going to speak on it like, I can't lie, man. You know what I mean? I wanted the bitch, but, you know, she decided to go woo, 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 woo. But the bitch still paid for that interview, man. Like, man, you know, man. You know what I mean? And it was at a time when a pimp really needed it too, man. You know what I mean? I was going, I was going through it at that time, man. I had... Man, was going through fly, fly by nights and twos and fews and, and pieces of a bitch and everything, you know what I mean? But the bitch came through with that little interview fee, man. I needed it at that motherfucking time, you know? But yeah, she decided to fuck with what's the name and, you know, she been down ever since. That's respectable. That's a respectable hoe. That's a hoe that's doing what's vital to her title as a hoe. I know some of y'all ain't even been taught like that. Interview fee, uh-uh, no, uh-uh, I'm not even talking to you. Nines out of ten, you a bitch that got tattoos on your chest, and you know what I mean? You put motherfucking ketchup and hot sauce on everything. Bitch, I'm not even talking to you. You not even my style. You not even the game style. You know what I mean? You for a blood or a crip, a GD or a BD, a nigga that hustle and sell CDs and DVDs in the barbershop, bitch. That's who you for. I'm talking about hoes right now. Yeah, when you really a respectable hoe and when you really serious about fucking with some pimping, before you get into that man DM or before you text him or before you get out of pocket with him in them streets, you know what I mean? You have a bankroll. You hoe up for a bankroll, you know, and you come respectfully. You come hopefully. You know what I mean? You come with the currency, you know what I mean, to that man. That's how you come. Real recognized, real. Yeah. So, again, man, you know what I mean? Because... Man, it ain't nothing but the game got me. I, you know, maybe it's just seeing ain't been live in a little minute, man. I just been popping off. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, man, that's so real. You know, let me just stay on that for just two seconds more. You know what I mean? With this renegade thing. You know, a renegade is somebody, you know, that abhors the pimping. A renegade is somebody who hates the pimping. Let me put that out there. A renegade is somebody who hates the pimping, abhors the pimping, has pure hatred towards pimping, encourages other hoes to not fuck with pimping, will get a tattoo on her chest or arm or on her face that say fuck pimps or renegade or 
You know what I mean? That type of shit. Let me put that. There we go. That's a renegade. Somebody who abhors pimping. Somebody who has absolute pure hatred for the pimping. If the pimping sat up there, you understand me, and died right now, she was speaking tongues as the spirit of hatred gives utterance. She is a complete hater. She has a doctoral degree, you know what I mean, for hatred towards pimps. She hates pimps with a passion. When she even see a pimp shining or, you know what I mean, talking good or looking sharp or, you know, popping and campaigning and shit like that. It's a vexation to her spirit. She hates pimps. She absolutely hates them. Don't want to choose. Don't even see the sin. Encourages bitches to not even fuck with them. She is a hater. That's a renegade. A complete outlaw. Somebody who got their mind made up to not follow the rules and regulations of the game. She don't want to fuck with no pimping, hates pimping, and don't want to follow the rules and regulations of this game. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, with the bride that had a pimp that got killed or died or something like that, you know, I'm going to respect it, you know, because, man, it's sad. It's a tragic situation. But I'm not going to let no hoe tell me, you know, after a thousand years, a million years that went by, another millennium that went by, and she's still trying to use, you know what I mean, this situation as an excuse as to why, you know, she should be able to work the blade or, you know what I mean, uh, work here or work there without no problems because she paid a pimp 5,000 years ago. Fuck all of that. You know what I mean? Respectfully to the pimping. You know what I mean? That uh, passed away or got killed. But I told you, you know what I mean? If that situation occurred to me, don't allow no hoe to come from me because a hoe that come from my pimping, she know better. She better not be using my motherfucking name as a justifiable excuse. Well, you know, ever since sin died or ever since sin went away, you know, I just, I can't see myself paying another pimp. The bitch want to be a faggot. The bitch want to be a punk. She, she using my name right now, you know what I mean? So you can sit up there and feel sorry for the bitch and, and so you can cry with her. And so it'd be two motherfuckers crying instead of sitting over there, you understand me, applying this game. You know what I mean? No, don't know hold that come, you know what I mean, from my pimping. If I died or got killed or whatever happened to me in prison forever, can't no bitch use my name for justification as to why she ain't got with nobody else. You know what I mean? I just can't see myself. Man. I understand that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Even though sin died, you know what I mean, in uh, 1922, and it's 2022, I can see that you're still hurting. So because you're still hurting, I'm just going to allow you to just be on the avenue getting revenue all up in my face and, you know, catching dates that my hoes should be getting. You know what I mean? I'm going to be allowing you to just walk all up on the blade and do your thing, you know what I mean, without any interference or anything like that. You know what I mean? Simply because your pimp died, you know what I mean, or got killed 80,644 innumerable years ago. No. So again, you know what I mean? She would fall under the renegade category, you know what I mean, if it has been, you know, way too long uh, since she's been under the umbrella, you know, of the pimping. She ain't been presided over, you know what I mean, by no pimping. You know, then these bitches will lie to you in their hoography. A bitch will tell you that she got with somebody, you know what I mean? But in all honesty, the bitch just got a little dick. Her pussy got wet, and she decided to fuck on this nigga that wasn't no pimping. You know, but he look up to part. He a, he a fly square. You know what I mean? He a player is square. You know, like we say, something like a pimp, but he ain't a pimp. And uh, the bitch was sucking and fucking on him for a little bit. And she said, oh, well, you know, I paid, I paid, uh, you know what I mean, Ally Mac. I was with Ally Mac, you know what I mean, for two Ds for a double dose of this pimp. And even though it ain't no Ds in the Ally Mac, but I paid Ally Mac. You know, for that time. So you can't say I ain't paid no pimping. I was with Allie Mac for, you know what I mean, a certain bitch. Allie Mac, not no pimp. Y'all niggas stop being soft on a bitch too. 
You know what I mean? These bitches ain't sitting over there fucking with no pimping. They choosing up on Crips and Bloods and, you know what I mean, uh, Lil Dirk fans and, you know, GDs and BDs and all that old goofy shit. You know what I mean? But that ain't no pimping, though. Choosing up with these rappers and all of that shit, that ain't no pimping. Choosing up with a nigga because he got a nice situation on Instagram and you thought you was going to get your clout up because he clouded up, you know what I mean, on Instagram. That's not choosing up with pimping. Stop letting these hoes get away with murder, man. You know what I mean? But, again, matter of fact, yeah, let me just go ahead, you know, open up these phone lines, man, for a little bit. Hey, before I get started, man, get my likes up to a 1,000. Yeah, I done talked some shit, you know, but I want to talk some more. Yeah, get my likes all the way up to a 1,000, man. Yeah, before we even get started, we had 938 likes. Okay, so that means seeing these 62 likes, 62 likes going to get me all the way up to a thousand. And that's what we need to touch. I ain't asking for no money. I'm just asking for the likes. If everybody can just hit the thumbs up button, you know what I mean? Because uh, I might leave this video up for a little bit. You know what I mean? I might leave it up. You know what I mean? Even though I ain't going to lie, this, I was really talking some shit on this. This is really some good Patreon shit right here. <laughs> yeah, this that good Patreon shit right here. You know, this really this that this that shit really for the Patreon family. But uh, do me a favor. See, you be talking about please leave it up. Why you can't spend five dollars to come to the Patreon though? Why your pretty ass can't spend fifty dollars to come to the Patreon though? That's what I don't like. When y'all be like, leave it up, sin, leave it up. Yeah, but why you can't sit up there and pay the $5, though? You know, where the link? Give her the link. Let her come through. Tired of seeing ugly niggas up there, too. I need more women to come through. Please. I need more women. And, hey, let me say this. Uh, ladies, seeing love, hating on 187 cap. Nigga, I created 187 Kevin and AK-40 Steven. I created them names. That's why when AK-47 uh, came out, I was like, damn, did he hear me and take that name from me? But, you know what I mean? Because y'all know I've been saying that since Jesus was crucified. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I mean? How many know that? My day ones know seeing been saying uh, 180 Kevin and AK-40 uh, Steven and shit like that. You know, seeing came out with them names. That's my intellectual property. You know what I mean? But to each his own, you know what I mean? Just like uh, uh, O'Shea been using the hell out of that, I see. And that's my brother. He can do that. But I see more people putting deleted. Yeah, he deleted two black women. Or, you know, he deleted. He deleted. Everybody using my shit now. Deleted. Yeah, that nigga got deleted. Or she got deleted. Or, and then motherfuckers, I'm seeing rebuke now. Everybody like rebuking service. Or that nigga got rebuked. Or she got rebuked. I'm like, God damn. You know what I mean? But... I ain't mad at it, man. I ain't mad at it. Yeah, seven more likes gonna get me to that thousand, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, seven, seven likes. Tell somebody to say seven. You know, I vote to put this on the Patreon. See, Vic coming in with the money, and he telling it, you know what I mean? Oh, and by the way, Patreon members, you can make that known, you know what I mean, uh, what else y'all want. If it's a movie or a show, especially a show, like some of y'all be wanting shit that be on Netflix and all of that, I'm only letting that shit stay up there for five hours. You know, like all of that, you know, I think somebody had put up this one show. They really don't be tripping on shit like Power. Like if you notice, all the Power episodes is there. When Like when BMF come out, I could just leave that there. They never trip off BMF. All my power episodes, BMF, Snowfall, and all of that shit, I allow all that shit to stay there because they don't never trip on that. They be tripping about new movies that be at the theater that I be posting. Can you upload three strikes again? Passion, I got you. I got you because you said it. I definitely be using rebuke. Credit to sin. And you my nigga, though. That don't count. Yeah, you one of the loved ones. Please bring your friends. Yeah, yeah. Bring some women, man. 
Got to get the... Oh, let me say this to everybody, too, since we are over a thousand people deep. Hit the like button. Hit the like button on the Patreon. Some of y'all think it's just on YouTube, and I got to ask you for that on YouTube. So I'm asking for that on the Patreon. Hit the like button. See him, but this ain't about no pimping. Hit the like button. You know what I mean? That looks good. You know, it let, it, let, it let it be known that, you know what I mean, that motherfuckers, you understand me, is here, physically present. Shout out to Bill. You know, Bill, Bill, I know I'll be posting some shit that's really for the ladies or, you know, really for another crowd. But guess what Bill do? He like the shit anyway. He be commenting anyway. Not because he really give a fuck about, you know what I mean, a Mary J. Blast uh, DVD or something like that. He just commenting and showing love just so activity can be shown on the Patreon. You know what I mean? Oh, you ain't lying. My Patreon lit. I can't deny that. I can't. I got the best. It ain't, it ain't nobody with a better Patreon than mine. That's why I say I need all the respect and likes because ain't nobody got a better Patreon than me. Their content is not better. And then not only that, I be even sharing, you know, people that I fuck with and don't fuck with. I will share their shit. And y'all know that to be true, because even when me and Satan the Center, Dr. Bill, a lot of them uh, little dudes, I shared their shit just so y'all could see what they was talking about. I be sharing sometime uh, 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 Charleston White shit. Open the phone lines in. All right, I guess they want to beat the dough down. All right, let's go. Like, see, you talking all that shit, man. Open up the phone, man, nigga. Everybody trying to hear that shit, nigga. Open up the phone, man, nigga. Nigga talking all that shit, nigga. Open up the motherfucking phone, man, nigga. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. Niggas talking about this shit, man. Oh, by the way, we could go live with each other on certain channels, but I don't know for what reason it don't let me go live on this one yet. They got a new feature called Go Live Together. And you could go live with people in the comment section. You could go live with everybody now. It's easy. You don't got to use none of that, uh, all that other shit. People can just go live with you. But they haven't given that feature for this channel yet. But I think I might go on the... Uh, Send for the P in the family channel and go live over there and allow y'all to come up to promote y'all businesses and things, you know? But yeah, man, the number 702-809-473. I don't know why, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody called in, man. Or maybe y'all fighting to call in. I don't know. Hold on. Shout out to that boy Keon, man, for the cash app. That nigga Tay Fog. Tay, man, appreciate that 10 you know what I mean? Good looking. Ashley, appreciate the 50. Good looking to you, baby. Hey, when y'all send them cash apps, let me know that you sent the cash app so I can acknowledge you. He mentioned me yesterday on No Jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to uh, Kelby. He did. I've already acknowledged that, but since you uh, came in here, I'm going to acknowledge it again. Uh, shout out to him. And uh, he needs to come out with some new music, some merch. He needs to get to work. Uh, the number is 702-800-9473. 702-800-9473. Yeah, I think that you guys are uh, fighting uh, to get in because ain't no way. He want to be seen. That's why he added to P. Uh, you too kind. No, no, no. That ain't why yet. You know, that's kind of common. Maybe give it to some time to update. Oh, okay. Hello? Yo. What's going on with it? Yeah, man. This, my, this song from the side, bro. I just wanted to ask, man, where you going to start posting? Stories about Chicago, man. We almost had a hundred subs. You might just be able to give us, you know, the rundown on that shit. 
when you say stories about the shy, you speaking of my well, upbringing or you speaking on, on some demonstration type well, shit? Uh, huh? Your upbringing, yeah. I mean, I got videos that I already uh, explained that, but if you looking for like, you know, some real raw and uncut uh, uh, stories and shit, it's so much Chicago shit that I've never really, you know, brung to the platform because I've seen others, you know, using the shy, you know, and a lot of them dudes was lying. But at the same time, it was taking care of them and taking care of their family. So I never really went at certain Chicago bloggers uh, for lying. But at the same time, I will say that, uh, yeah, I will be coming out with uh, content the same way that I honored nice you know what I mean? I got, you know, videos in the future that's going to be coming out with, about my childhood friend, a very close friend of mine by the name of David Hatcher. You know, and David was somebody that, you know, I really looked up to, you know what I mean, at one time. You know, even though I was a stone and he was a BD, you know, we come out of holiness together. And so, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, David wasn't just, you know, no game banger. David was a fly a fly nigga. You know, David was having all the bitches. David was driving cars at an early age. David stayed, you know, with the Pelly Pill alone and everything like that. So, you know, he was always the best dressed in school, you know, uh, always having all the fine red bones and things like that. You know what I mean? And, he, and what I'm like mostly about, he wasn't no bitch, you know? So, um, you know, yeah, I was in church. We was all in church, nigga. See, that's the difference. Let me put that out there too. Some of y'all be lying on y'all history. I just don't be saying nothing. Like when certain individuals, you know what I mean, uh, in church. Yeah, nigga, it's a lot of killers that I knew, nigga, that came out of church. Yeah, nigga, my cousin, you, nigga. You my, hold on, hold on, hold on. My cousin, nigga, used to play the drums at his mama church, nigga, and he was a killer. What are you saying? What are y'all saying when y'all say that? You know what I mean, church? If you really knew the city of Chicago like that, you wouldn't even talk like that. Because, nigga, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of motherfuckers right now that's in the pen and they never getting out. And they got some good holiness, church backgrounds, good mothers and grandmothers and all of that, nigga. But they was just killers. Okay, what you saying? Yeah, man, that's really all I wanted to know because... Uh Coming from the city of Chicago and being from your side, you know, the east side, 87 and East End. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you didn't even tell me that. Okay, East End. Yeah. 87 and East End, and I went to MacDowell. See, I went to MacDowell, too. I, You know, of course, I'm 84th and Dante, which, you know, right makes it Blackstone. You know what I mean? But I went to right. MacDowell, but I got kicked out of MacDowell. You know what I mean? They kicked me out of McDowell because I was fighting every day. So, you know, they had to put me in Buckingham. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, from McDowell, all the kids that go to McDowell usually end up going to Cowell. Oh, yeah, of course. Yep. That's no good. Outlaw City, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's no good. That's no good. Yeah. Yeah, but see, even though it was Outlaw City, you got to remember that I was still from 54th from College Grove. So even though when we moved, you know what I mean, to 84th and Dante, I was still demonstrating, you know what I mean, with the moles on 54th and Cottage, though. You know what I mean? I was still going over there. I was still, you know what I mean, uh, hanging out, you know what I mean, on Cottage. Yeah, I was still going outside doing my thing on 84th and Dante and everything like that. But no, uh, I was still, before I ended up giving my life to God, and getting in holiness because, see, you got to look at the timeline. You know what I mean? When I gave my life to God, I was pretty much, you know what I mean, 14, you know what I mean, going on 15 by that time. You know what I mean? Right. I, I don't know what she talking about. You know what I mean? So, uh, but before that, you know what I mean, it was just common for all of it. Man, it used to be so much. And you know what I'm talking about. It used to be fun to, it used to be fun to sit up there, you understand me, and be outside. We didn't know nothing yeah, about yeah. all... Hey, listen. Yeah. We didn't have Instagram and all of that shit. So, it was a pleasure to be outside. We didn't know nothing about Facebooks and Instagram and all of that type of shit. So, we was always outside. 
We couldn't wait to, we, some of us would be doing homework, trying to do, finish the homework before we got out of school or finish the homework, you know what I mean, sometime while we on the bus or have a nerd do it for us. You know, because you always got a nerd right. motherfucker, you know what I mean, on the, that know how to do all of this shit. Here, do this shit. Otherwise, I'm going to beat your ass. You know what I mean? And then they sit up there and do the shit, you know, because we had a nerd called Chinadoom. I know he probably getting paid like a That little boy was so smart. But, you know, we used to pick on him and shit like that. But Chinadoom was smart as hell. You know what I mean? And uh, he used to do everybody's work. <laughs> But, uh, you know, these was the times, man. We was trying to be outside, man. We wasn't trying to be on no goddamn internet and shit, man. We, we too busy in the alley playing on crates and, you know what I mean, getting into fights and shit and trying to grab on, you know what I mean, a teenager or sometime a grown-ass woman's booty. You know what I mean? We, we outside. We just young niggas, man, trying to get into something, you know? The right way. Right, right. But see, the only thing about it is all of us down there, you know what I mean? Of course, we had our mothers. You know, some was good mothers, some was bad mothers. You know, I ain't going to lie about that. You know, Chicago got some of the worst mothers, you know what I mean, that God had never made. But, um, you know, some of us had mothers that didn't play. So certain individuals knew that if we was acting a fool out in the streets to, you know, I just got to holler at his mama. You know what I mean? Or get at his daddy, or stepdaddy, or whoever the hell. They you know, know what I mean? That shit. You boy, say what? Beat your What'd you say? Niggas beating ass nowadays. You can't even take these motherfuckers now. Man, listen. Don't you, matter of fact, don't you remember the days, man, you know what I mean, where you can honestly, now, of course, yeah, I ain't about to act like it was just all good. We had shootouts, and yeah, niggas was getting killed and shit. You know, in the nineties, I'm not know, even going. Go ahead. Don't I don't mean to cut you off, but go ahead. you know, back then when somebody got killed, nine times out of ten they deserve that shit. I I say that it had more meaning behind it, but I could think of some, a lot of deaths uh, that motherfucker did not deserve that shit. So I can't I can't swing a hundred on that. I'm gonna just say that it made more sense. As to why that person got killed. Just like, okay, for example, right? My nigga Burrell. Burrell was another motherfucker that I looked up to. Y'all could actually look Burrell up on Google. But Burrell was a young hustler. You know what I mean? Always stayed fly and, you know, always had the flyest fila outfits and all of that shit. Grand Hills. I'm going back. I'm really telling my age now. You know what I mean? The Penny Hardaways and all of that. You know, Burrell was that dude. But see, Burrell's problem was he was claiming GD and he was claiming Stone. So when he was at his mama house, he would demonstrate with the Moes and he would hustle with the Moes. But when he would sit up there, you understand me, and go to his father's house and his father lived in the manor, you know, he was sitting over there demonstrating with folks and hustling with them. So, long story short, this was in the paper too. Of course, the squares, they told another way. You know what I'm saying? But uh, that ain't what went down. What went down was motherfuckers heard that, you know what I mean? He was, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? He, he playing both sides. So... Y'all kind of know, I'm not going to get into all of that, but let's just say he went to a one demonstration and he thought that, you know what I mean, uh, you know, we was getting ready to have prayer like usual. And uh, yeah, man, as I like to say, he got deleted. And um, even though I, I won't say that, you know, because Burrell wasn't nothing but like 14 at this time. You know, but Burrell already was, you know what I mean, riding around. You know what I mean? One time he came to school in a cutlass, 14 years old, pushing up, you know what I mean, in a cutlass. You know what I mean? 14 years old, man, coming to school, you know what I mean, with racks on them. We talking about 90s, though. You know what I mean? Burrell was a hustler. And, yeah, man, it didn't work out for him, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they did Burrell wrong, man. That's... Yeah, this some real 90 Chicago cutthroat shit. It's so many stories, man, that I could give y'all. You know, like my nigga, he just said, 
you know, they deserve that shit. And a lot of niggas would say, well, seeing after listening to that, I would say that too. See what I mean? It got more meaning to it. You know, like a motherfucker can understand why you got killed. Because that was exactly. goofy. Now, they be getting caught in the crossfire and don't get some more shit. Niggas just... Just back those shit. They they kill innocent motherfuckers just to say they. And now and nowadays everybody is a op. Everybody out there. Everybody got enemies and shit like that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep it all the way 100 with you. Like, and this ain't to exalt. Uh, I ain't gonna yeah, cause that it, that do sound kind of game bangers. But what I just say this, man. I was around some real authentic Blackstones. So the men, you know what I mean, that I uh, honored and respected would never uh, backdoor you because it was unmanly. That's not something to uh, brag about, that you backdoored, you know, somebody that you were supposed to be a brother to or somebody that you were supposed to be cool with. So honestly, if a motherfucker found out that you had backdoored somebody at this particular time. Yeah, you know what I mean? Once motherfucker found out about that shit, lawman, lawman found out about that shit. Uh, yeah, you was getting ready to get deleted. Yeah, you was going to get deleted, man. You, as, as, as I like to say, they was going to pray for you, help you get to God, you know. Um, and, 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 and like, you know, I have to say it has meaning to it. You know, you deserve to go. You know, if you backdooring motherfucker, just like, for example, right? It's this one dude, I can't prove it. So that's why I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if this is authentic. But they saying the reason why he had all of these murders is because he was backdooring motherfuckers. They saying he was the king of the backdoor. So in my mind, I'm like, so wait a minute. So y'all glorifying dude. And y'all exalting dude is like one of the top killers to ever come out to shy. But if he backdoor in my eyes, man, this shit don't even count. Because it's so easy, you know what I mean, to kill motherfuckers, you know, when you if you a backdoor type of ass nigga, you know what I mean? They're not expecting the shit. You know what I mean? I'm thinking that you my brother. I'm thinking that we fucking with one another. I'm thinking that we claiming the same thing. You know what I mean? Uh but so I can't, I don't look at him the same way that I look at another individual for seriously gangbanging. You know, and when I mean gangbanging, I mean really going to the environment of the opposition and just completely annihilate motherfuckers, eradicate motherfuckers. This is gangbanging, you know, but all of this, uh, yeah, this is my, this was my close friend for years, but you know what I mean? They paid me this and gave me this. So, you know what I mean? I got the homie out. I got this nigga out the way. And me and this nigga got pictures and videos together. You know, that's some gay shit. Yeah, that's oh, some, yeah. Yeah, that's some gay shit. I, don't, I can't put you in the same category as I would put, you know what I mean, as uh, the stand up. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, deleters. <laughs> is I, yeah, I like that. Deleters around here. No, nah, I can't put you in that. They getting praised for leaving the back door open now. They really is. And that's so satanic. I hate to say it, but no. See, the men that, and I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm trying to not, because, you know, I got to keep shit pimpish, but the men that I looked at, these were men that was men of principle, men of standard. You can't deny that. They had a standard that they lived by. And was going to die by that. And so um, all of this backdoor shit, that sound like ho shit. That sound like, you know, some goofy shit. You know what I mean? Uh, now, that's, you know, of course, we get into all that dirty macking and shit later. You know, that got something to do with a bitch. But you took it up to another demonic level. You sitting over there ready to take another man's life that you were supposed to be cool with. Yeah, I can't really exalt it. I can't praise nothing like that. That's some hoe shit. I can't see you as that that nigga. Uh-uh. 
you was actually wearing that cheap perfume called jealousy towards the nigga, and you took the nigga out. You know what I mean? So, nah, that ain't really to be exalted or really glorified. If anything, that's supposed to be mortified, you know? You're right. Let me see. Uh, but it was nice talking to you, though, man. I appreciate it. Hey, what's your name? What's my name? Yeah. What'd you say? Yeah, what's your they handle? Call you they call you who? Little son. Little Tom. Little son. Little, little something. Little son. Little son. Little son. Little son. You saying little Sean? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, well, look, man. You know what I mean? Make sure this ain't your last call, man. You know what I mean? I like the fellowship. It ain't every day that I get to, you know, especially a South East Side motherfucker. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you right. make sure, man, that you keep calling in, man. Love. Love. All right. Man, don't laugh at me, y'all. I really didn't know what the fuck he I was like. What? Love, y'all. I'm like, what? Love, y'all. Like, wait. Uh, love, y'all. I didn't know what he said. You know, originally from the, uh, originally, actually, if you look at my history and you could actually Google it, right? Because all that information on Google, when you look up my name and when you see my mother, you will see that we first, you know what I mean, was on 61st and St. Lawrence. You know what I mean? Like before we went to 54th from Cottage, we was on 61st and St. Lawrence, but I was a, a little boy at that time. So from like one... I want to say to all the way to pretty much of me being like seven years old, you know, we was on 61st and St. Lawrence, but we moved. So we moved from St. Lawrence and then we went to 54th. You know, well, no, stop. That's not, that's not accurate. We went from St. Lawrence and then we went to uh, Motown. Yeah. We, uh, like I was like where I was, was pretty much like, not even really a block away from Mellow Yellow. If you know, if you know, if you, if basically, if you know High Park, you know what I'm talking, talking about. Like, I go so back, my history goes so back. This one, they had the theater right there. Hold on, what's that saying? All I wanted to do was send a cash app. You know what I mean? Your way. Oh, man. Put the uh, cash app, you know what I mean, in the uh, comment section. You know what I mean? The brother didn't see it. Uh, but yeah, man, it used to be so fun as a, as a kid. You know what I mean? Because you had to... Uh, I'm really trying to think of this one store. Oh, man, because I got my ass beat so cold. Yeah, I tried to steal something. You know what I mean? And mom found out about it, man. And uh, I still remember that ass whooping from at 38. Hello? Hey, man, what's up with you? What's going on? Oh, uh, not much, man. I just want to uh, man, let you know, man, you've been doing a really good job. Man. I've been listening to you for a minute, man. I really like the uh, commentary you be giving out, man. Man, I appreciate drop, you. Drop some, drop some real gems, man. Put, put a couple of my homies uh, in Memphis on, on to you. Oh, man, if you from that Memphis, man, you know what I mean? Shout out to 901, man. Blessings to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Appreciate it. it. Appreciate it, man. But, man, keep doing your good job, man. Keep putting the information out, man. man get, get, make some men out here, man. Because right now, man, a lot of these dudes, man, they're acting like they're, they're, they're feminine. they feminine out here. Man, for sure. But, yeah. Man, I appreciate it, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Appreciate that, fam. Good looking. All right. All right. I'm trying to remember the exact, because, you know, I don't tell no lies. Hold on for a minute. Let me see if I can call him right quick. And get that. I might even have to, uh, I might even have to tell him. Hold on. Damn, somebody calling me. Hello? What's up, dude? What's going on with it, man? Man, it's cold. It's cold, man. What's happening? 
Oh, man. Yeah. Blessed to see one more, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to Mississippi, man. You know I love y'all. You know, a Chicago nigga ain't nothing but a Mississippi nigga that moved. What's happening with you? Man, check it out. I'm in work right now. Back out. Too quick. When you gonna drop a story on a... Well, not a story, but when you gonna do a video on a trophy, man? Oh, on trophy? I was really trying to wait till trophy, trophy get out. Because, see, trophy, man, he be so, like, secret... Oh, still alive. Huh? I ain't know still alive, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trophy's still alive. Trophy just locked up. Yeah, yeah, no. Trophy's still alive. Trophy ain't dead. Just like I got to put it out there to uh, Goody. Goody not dead. You know, nice big brother. So I still got I still got uh, Goody that's still living. And, uh, of course, you know what I mean, Trophy that's still living. Trophy just, you know what I mean, locked up, you know, and... Uh, I wanted to just make sure that everything was on point because anybody know trophy, it was just the way that bro moved. I be putting out little things, but I never really go bro. in like that on, uh, with trophy because I don't know if he want that out there. Like for example, right? Trophy always changed his number every week. That's why I stopped saving his number in my phone because you know what I mean? He he always stayed with the little flip phones. You know, if Trophy was out right now, he not going to do no iPhone. He not going to do none of these little high-tech phones that y'all got. He going to get the little flip phone, and he going to keep switching flip phones every week. He going to let them broads, you know, have them little expensive. For, but as far as him, no, nah, man, he... he 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 just moved like that. He moved like the feds is watching him at all times, man. That's how he moved. So I already know with the way that bro move, like the best I could do with trophy would be to speak on some square shit, like something that ain't got nothing to do with the game. He's not going to trophy's not gonna you'll never catch somebody on trophy arguing with somebody on dinosaurs. If anything, you'll see him you know what I mean? Come and look. You know what I mean? But he's not, he's never going to be on anything like that. He's never going to, like, especially now, I'm even thinking because of, of getting out of the joint, out of prison, he going to be more aware. <laughs> so right, right. he going he gonna to be moving even more like that. Like, be on high alert, man. man, listen, that's just how that nigga move, man. So, you know what I mean? Trophy the type. He not he not trying to be known. Like all the pictures I can show you of trophy, he don't have no jewelry on, none of that. And was having money like crazy. But you would never know it looking at his appearance. And and one thing I, uh, I you would know notice about trophy. When all the peas, when we all in the circle and we chopping it up and you always have individuals trying to compete on some time of who was more knowledgeable and then sometimes you'll have niggas trying to out nursery line each other. Then you have uh, niggas, you know, trying to out lie each other, trying to come up with a better lying ass story than the one that was just told. You know what I mean? Trophy would be the one that would be quiet. Him and Freeze had a lot of similarities. They would just be, Trophy would just be quiet, listening. He's not going to be talkative unless you wanted, you know, his friends. If he fuck with you like that, he going to fuck with you like that, but he not going to fuck with you over no phone. All his phone conversations is going to be to like 30 to maybe 50 seconds, man. He's not on the phone like that, even with them broads. You know, woo, 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 okay, uh, 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 gone. You know what I mean? That's just how he moved, man. <laughs> so that's why I haven't done no video or nothing on uh, Trophy, man. You know what I mean? I but check this out, man. Like, the reason why, because I'm the square, man. Where's the box of squares? But I always caught the little, you know, little sidebars that you were throwing out there about Trophy kids, or even on your museum of game page, when you compare y'all uh, the kids, you want to know. And I was like, damn, that seemed like somebody you got. Because, you know, every story that you share, even about nice, like, that's one of my top three, the rise and fall of the team nice. Like, even yeah. through nice, I learned, like, I learned a lot by kids through you telling nice stories. 
And when you was, when you was, you know, going on about Trump and shit, I was like, man, that's another story I want to hear too. But, you know, like you say, in the game's a point of time. Yeah, in the game's a point of time, but it's just certain people, man, that don't be into that. Like, okay, for example, I'm angry, you know, but I just never did no weird shit, never partook, but I'm still angry that I don't have one recording of Pepe Le Pew. And I used to be like, Pep, what if you die? What if you don't want no book, you don't want no recording, you don't want, you don't want nothing out? You don't want to be eternal? He's like, man. Now let me ask you a question. Okay, go ahead. My bad, bro. But is, is that um, Pimp Buddy's name? Who? Uh, is that what you call a pop? Who? Uh, what's his name? Pimp LaFue. Is that, uh, what's on? Damn. What's the name, man? Is that his dad? You trying to ask me, is Pimp LaFue? The father of Clyde? No. No, not biologically, but, you know, he, uh, Clyde is the uh, father of, you know, uh, Pepe Le Pew's grandchild. And so, you know what I mean? His daughter was involved with Clyde and Pepe had love for Clyde, you know what I mean? Like a, uh, like a son. So... Uh, just keeping that shit all the way, you know, 100, he loved him, you know what I mean? Like, so it, that's why, you know, people spoke on it like that because even though it wasn't blood like that, but at the same time, you know, they carried it like that. So we honored it and respected it like that. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, if you don't got no more questions, man, I'm gonna move on. Man, that's it, man. And I just want to throw it in that um, you were talking about that, um, I'm going to make this statement and leave, man. But when you were talking about, you know, as far as like when the young brother was talking about uh, his father, you gave him more games than his own father did. And you were telling him, you know, how much you appreciated, but still at the end of the day. And so, goddamn father, man, that's some real shit, man. And I appreciate that. And I'm going to let you go, my guy. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, I had to get keep myself together, man. He hit me in the chest with that. He really did. Hey, all right, man. I'm trying to find. Hold on. Let me find this right quick. Hold on. Let me see if he busy. Up there. What's going on? You busy? Uh-uh. Yeah, you I'm, I'm yeah, I'm live right now on YouTube. You pretty much got a thousand people listening to you right now, right? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I wanted to get confirmation, you know, because I remember, you know, when me and mom was staying on 61st and St. Lawrence, but after we stayed on 61st and St. Lawrence, especially, you know, when mom got involved, you know what I mean, you and mom got involved. Um, what, wh wh uh, where in High Park, what was the exact address we was when we was in High Park? We was right there at Hopper, uh, Hopper Court, in Hopper, uh, on, uh, 50, 51st, 51st is, uh, a uh, Hopper. Over there where the theater is, yeah. over there. You right, know, I, right told, there I told, I told him that. You. The theater, then you got, had, I remember Mellow Yellow. They played chess out there. Yep. You know? Yeah. That, that was uh, uh, 50, 50 uh, in uh, High Park. Hopper Court. It's called Hopper Court. Right off 51st. Okay. Hopper, you know, yep. High Park, yeah. And then that's after that, of course, we went to 54th and Cottage, but you know what I mean? Um, I had to let one of these days. I'm gonna have to bring you on here and drop some of this Chicago history because they don't even know. Especially when you had showed me that picture 
of you standing in Parkway, you know what I mean, at that time, and you already know Parkway was way different, you know. Uh, hey, you, hey, you know, hey. Up there, we bad, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was scared, hey, you know. Oh, I, I used to say I got to keep up. Uh, I can't talk like that. No, 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 no. I'm kind of that splitter, G-rated, you know. No, no, hey, no, 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 you, you ain't got to be. Claws, <laughs> <and> hey, <laughs> no, you, you ain't got to be uh, PG-13. Yeah, you can cuss and all of that. They, listen, they didn't, uh, they already know. You know what I mean? That uh, you know what I mean? That you first of all, uh, y'all been listening to me for a while. You know what I mean? Uh, if I say the name Dennis, y'all already knew that. Of course, Percy was my biological, but as far as like growing up, you know what I mean, and training me up, you know what I mean, and lacing me, you know what I mean. I always right. mentioned Dennis. You know what I mean? So you know, this is my dad on the phone, man. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. you know, this the one that been raised me since a pup. This the one that can tell you. You know what I mean? Hey, matter of fact, just we just keeping that shit all the way real. Hey, Dad, was I was I had in the house or was I always outside? Hey, we was real. You know that. Hold on, hold on. You faded yeah. out. You must. Hold on. What you what you around company right now? You smoking or what? Uh, no, no, we good, sir. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, you threw me, you threw me for a loop. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm low key. I don't like to be recorded. No, 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 no. You, you listen. Know. No, no. We live. Yeah. They, they can't see you. You because can't. I'm from the underground. You know what I mean? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> but no, listen. We out. We out. In, we out in front. They can't see you. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, we just talk. Know. We just talking shit <laughs> like normal. Everything around me is. It's hush, you make too much noise. You might be uh, a push of daisies or something, nigga. We crazy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he, you know what I mean, of course, yeah, you know, they don't know nothing about this internet or, or, or none of that shit, like, of course, his era is way different, but I'm just telling them. Oh, uh, yeah, they, 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 they can't solve a problem like, you know, we used to do. No. I taught you how to do how to box, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, I'm not going to say his name. You don't say Play, play you, basketball, you know, we yeah. did it all, you know. Hey, hey, don't say his name, right? You know what I mean? Because I, I just be telling certain stories, but I never say his name. But you know who right, I'm talking right. You know who I'm talking about that used to play the drums, you know. Yeah, his, of course. I already got that. I got that. Yeah, yeah. I did but, it on the head. Yeah, yeah but, but, but one of them, he was like, yeah, he was in church. I was like, yeah, nigga, I know some killers. I know some real motherfucking gorillas that was in the streets, nigga, that... Uh, was playing. I know one of them that was playing the church, the the drums at his mama church, nigga. That right, that don't mean right. nothing, nigga. Hey, <laughs> hey, you must not move too fast. You know what I mean? Man, not at all. Like, hold on, hold on. The boys, the boys, the boys is trigger happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> not at all. But listen, listen. I'm gonna get back in tune with you. You know what I mean? Later hey, on. Hey, I was just yeah. going to say, your sister called me and told me, she tried to tell me she he, she broke her foot or something. Yeah, she said up, yeah, she said up there and, uh, uh, on some, uh, I, I think it was some ice or something like that. She had slipped. This was like, a, I want to say like a week or maybe a week and a half ago. She slipped on yeah, some she ice. Yeah, she's just not calling me. That's what I got a problem with. Why you ain't called me? When Dad, hold on, hold on, hold on. You just you said. Tell me a week later. Hold on, you just said we live. I don't want her calling me talking about why you let Dad go. <laughs> yeah. So look, 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 look. I'm gonna hit you. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you later. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Love, peace and love, son. All right, look. Love you, man. All right, look. You be safe. All right, look. Yeah, cause she gonna fuck around and get into an attitude. Why you let dad? And I could already tell by the way he talking. That's why I asked him, was he smoking? Cause I already know he over there going in. You know, I that's why I asked that. You know, I know my people, man. You know, uh, Kenya, man, appreciate that too again. You know, brother Malone, appreciate that five, man. You know, what I mean, good looking partner. 
You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to bring him on here one day when he's sober. I already know he over there smoking some good weed and all that type of shit. You know, mellowed out. That's all dad do. Hello? Hey, what's up? What he said? What's happening, fam? Okay. Hey, I got two questions for you, boss. All right, go ahead. Okay, now, in order for a trick to deal with a hoe, he got to pay her, right? Okay, bro, speak up. You sound like you you, you trying like is they is is they watching you? You you you, you sound like my dad that was just on the phone, man. You know you sound like pops, man. Pops, pops was saying, I'm like, goddamn, you around some people right now. <laughs> you know, go ahead now? and ask me again. What about, what about now? No, you cool. I was like, I was like, damn, why okay. he talking to me in his sexy voice? I mean, goddamn. But go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a hoe got a, a trick got to pay a hoe in order for him to have access to a hoe. And in order for a hoe to have access to a pimp, she got to pay a pimp. Could a hoe be looked at like a trick? Because it's like, they just like the same thing. Like a trick can't have access to her without paying. And it's the same thing she got to do with a pimp. Could she be No, like no, that? no. We don't look at hoes uh like tricks we look at women uh we look at hoes as women doing what they supposed to do now if she decide to trick off on a little boyfriend you know what i mean or a game banger or, you know what i mean a, a dope slanger whatever the fuck she decides to be with other than this pimping you know what i mean then yeah you know what i mean she could be classified or looked at you know by other individuals you know what i mean in that particular category but no pimp looks at a woman or a group of women that's doing what's vital to the title of a hoe, you know what I mean, as a trick. No, the bitch doing what the fuck she's supposed to do. She paying pimping. She being submissive. She being committed and submitted, you know what I mean, to the pimping. She doing what she's supposed to do. We don't look at her as a no damn trick. I look at her as my woman. I look at her, you know what I mean, as my friend. I look at her as my bitch. I look at her as her doing what the fuck she's supposed to do. I don't look at her as no goddamn client. I look at her as a motherfucking uh, female representation giant. You know what I mean? Of the giant that she with. You know what I mean? Some pimping. Yeah. You, could you could you understand that uh, perspective? No, it's, it's like no, I don't. From the outside looking in, but look. From no, outside, no, in, no, no. Head. We don't we don't look at it like that. Okay. Neither are we. Neither are pimps trying to look at it from a, a square, a tricks perspective when it comes to a hoe. No. Can I understand why you would think some goofy shit like that? Yes, because squares and tricks, you know, think that way. But the pimping don't. I'm just letting it be known that the pimping don't. But I understand why, yeah. you know, a, a square <laughs> or a trick, you know, would think like that. But I just had to let it be known that pimps don't think like that at all. Right, right. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. You know, on the outside looking in, just looking at taking it at face value, it's like the same thing. The only thing that's different is the gender. It's like she's doing it. It's the, not the same thing. The it's the not the same the, thing. The uh uh. The woman is involved with that man. That woman not involved mm -hmm. with that trick. That trick ain't her man. Uh uh, yeah, yeah, that's two I'm, different I'm, dynamics. I'm, I'm, so I don't even know why. This is why I be saying like, man, tricks, tricks and squares be thinking some crazy dumb ass shit. Why would the pimpin look at this hoe as a trick? The, we no, the, we on the outside. Then, then outside. that's exactly that's what y'all should do. Just stay on the outside and keep paying. You know what I mean? But don't, then, you know, don't be letting your mind. You know, I guess they like us too. Like, no, nah, they, they not like y'all, man. You listen to the, all the tricks, man. You know what I mean? Just keep tricking. Just look for higher elevations in, in, in the tricking. You know, don't be having your mind go places where it don't need to go. Hey, man, maybe the hoe is just like me. Don't be having all these dumbass thoughts. Only thing that a trick should be thinking about is, you know what I mean, new promotions on the job, you know, a better career, or winning a settlement, getting his inheritance, or, you know, winning a lotto or something like that to be beneficial to an official hoe. That's it. So she could right. be beneficial to an official pimp. That's it. But all of them, that goofy shit, you know, fuck all of that. You know what I mean? Uh, right. Step up your tricking. Yeah. Tell somebody to say, step your tricking up. Yeah. You open the car line, so anybody got any type of questions. So 
And I wasn't trying to be disrespectful. No, you weren't being like, disrespectful. You know, no, 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 no. You weren't being disrespectful. I'm just helping you tricks stay in line. We all got to play our part. See, see, you see, it's just like a hoe, right? Like, hold on, hold on. Just like, for example, it's certain shit that I don't be thinking about. Why? Because I'm in a pimp state of mind. And see, as a trick, you need to stay in a trick state of mind. You don't need to be thinking about, is the hoe like me? And am I like the hoe and all that goofy shit? No, stay in a trick state of mind. Step your tricking up and do higher tricking. Can I play Okay, go ahead, player. Go ahead. I see what you're saying, but you got to understand that us squares wouldn't have no idea about your game. If the pimp you don't need to have idea there, of that game. No, we wouldn't have no clue, though. So for me, you know, being outside looking at being a square, you know, it Y'all put your game out there for us to say, okay, well, let's, let me... Uh, Man, even if question. we put let's the game out there, about. listen to me. Even if we put the game out there, unless God yeah. speak to you or unless God use a pimp to give you an outstanding understanding about this shit, you won't have understanding about this shit. Even if the game was put okay. out there okay. like that, just certain shit, you wouldn't comprehend because you're in a trick state of no. mind. I get what you say. I get what you're saying. I'm just saying you, you said, you know, we asked some dumbass questions. It's like no, I just game, it's like you know, it's put, like why waste time? Th listen to me. Listen to me. Player, player, player. This is why. Just like the hoes. What, what, what did you say before that? What I called you a player. What you, what what you get you offended? Shut up? No, I didn't. Say, but, but 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 if oh, I okay, my bad, my bad. I thought you said shut up. My fault. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But now I'm going to tell you, to, you know what I mean, shut up. I wasn't telling you to shut up. But now since you mentioned uh, it, yeah, man, shut up. But no, listen, uh, man, uh, check uh, check uh, it out, man. Come on, come on. No, no, come no, on, no because like seriously, that. I wasn't even thinking about telling you to shut up. But now that you mentioned no, it, man, shut I up. Thought. The same way you thought, <laughs> No, 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 seriously, man. I wasn't thinking about telling you to shut up. But now that you mentioned it, man, yeah, man, man, man shut man, up. My man, come on. Why would you do that, because because you mentioned it, and I'm like, well, damn, now that you done brought it up, man, yeah, open, shut up, man. Open, 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 open. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I wasn't thinking about telling you to shut up, but now that you mentioned it, man, shut up. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, matter of fact, man, you, you, you disobedient, man. I got to hang up on you, man. You won't shut up. Oh, shit. I wasn't even thinking about it, he, but it was just the, the arrogance of him just saying, oh, I thought you told me to shut up. <laughs> yeah, man, because I was going to trip. I was going to come through the phone and, and beat you up and act a fool. So that's why I was like, well, I mean, I wasn't thinking about telling you shut up, but now that you brought it up, yeah, shut up. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about the shit, but... Um, now that you act, now, now that you bring that up, yeah, man, uh, shut up. I wasn't even thinking about telling you to shut up. It was just that laugh and the arrogance behind it. Like, oh, hold on, hold on, man. What'd you say before that? Like he was checking the pimping or something. Like, yeah, man. Oh, uh, uh, did you, nigga? Did you tell me to shut up? Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I know you ain't telling me shut. Up. I'm like, okay. Well, now that you put yourself out there like that, let me help you. Let me help you then. <laughs> since since you decided to do that, yeah, let me help you, nigga. Let me show you how. Since you want to be nigga fired, nigga, I'm gonna take it there with you, nigga, and get nigga fired with you. Yeah, yeah. Then I just got off. Then I just got off the phone too with the king of niggas. Cause see, y'all don't know about that. That, that that nigga Dennis. Yeah, he didn't got old. He didn't got old. But when he was young, you talking about a fool? You talking about the king of niggas? You talking about the king of demons? <laughs> I done seen that nigga do some shit. You know, that Dennis, nah, he wasn't no pimp. But as far as with this gangster shit, or as far as throwing hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I ain't talking about on no regular shit either. You know what I mean? This somebody that I done seen fight the police. You know what I mean? Yeah, he one of them ignorant motherfuckers. So yeah, man, you know, uh... After just getting that type of energy and talking to that type of motherfucker, then you bring your soft ass on the phone. You know what I mean? Come on, man. See, this is why you want to stay around pimping all the time. You know, you gangsters, man. 
you know, man, shout out to the gangsters, but you know, I can't be around y'all too much. Especially coming around my Chicago family, coming around Dennis and, you know what I mean, and, and that side of the family and shit like that, it bring a whole different energy. You know what I mean? I've been slapped one of you soft ass niggas for, for talking to me crazy. You know, there's a lot of shit CMB letting slide. You know what I mean? Uh, I've been cussing you niggas out and don't need to get drunk or how to do it either. It's just natural. You know, like that side of the family, you know what I mean? I have my biological father's side of the family and my stepfather's side of the family. And I must say, both sides is ignorant as hell. Now, mama's side of the family, teachers, preachers, lawyers, you know what I mean? Sophisticated, educated individuals. But man, that father and that stepfather's side of the family, completely ignorant. Hello? Yeah, hello. Oh my God. I don't know why you would call back again after I just told you to shut up. You gonna call back again with a different tone of voice and still trying to sound sexy. Like you're not gonna knock me. He called back in his sexy voice like, uh, yeah, man, uh, hello? Like, nigga, I'm not no thick-ass bitch. I'm not no beautiful white blonde. What the fuck you call me back again for? Niggas is goofy. What the fuck you calling me for? I ain't no bad-ass chop. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I already did that, TK Moss. That's done now. I had to block them, uh, Continental T. What's wrong with that fool? And then called me back with his avant voice, like, yeah, uh, what's going on? You still there? You still on the line? Like, come on, man. Don't be talking to me like that, man. I don't like when y'all call me in that voice, man. Like, I ain't got nothing for you, homie. If you ever want to scare sin and have sin scared as hell, just call me in your avant voice or talking to me in that R&B voice. Man, I'm going to be scared as a motherfucker. I don't know what to do. I'm just talking shit on the internet, man. I ain't no, I ain't no tough guy. You know what I mean? Nigga called me talking in his R&B voice, man. Got me thinking he trying to take something, man. I, did, I hung up the phone with the quickness on that nigga. Uh-uh. That nigga called me with the, uh, I can read your mind. You know what I mean? Voice. I had to hang up on that nigga. Nah, we ain't, we ain't doing that, playboy. Yeah, yeah, he called me, baby, with his quiet storm voice, with his uh, V103 voice. Like, no, nah, you don't call me in that voice, Negro. Fuck wrong with you. Matter of fact, hold on, let me call her. Hold on. He called me like he was getting ready to mac at me or something. Like, man, <laughs> Don't be talking to me in that motherfucking voice, nigga. I ain't gonna choose. Let me see if she available to talk. Get my likes up. Let's touch 1200. Your call has been forwarded to an auto. Okay, I guess you at work. I wanted to have some fun. I might have to do that though, but I be letting the rest of y'all really have like a uh, Chicago uh, type of. Uh, but man, I know so many people from the shy. There should be doing exactly what I'm doing. It ain't no disrespect to nobody, but man, them Chicago, them, I ain't even gonna just say Chicago. Let me just say that the Midwest motherfuckers hit different. You know, a different aura about themselves. If you a woman, if you ever been with a man from the Midwest, especially a man from Chicago, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm not no liar. The Midwest just be hitting different. Shout out to the South, though. Shout out to the East. And definitely shout out to the West Coast. 
Oh, 500 bears, you ain't lying. If that nigga just had a YouTube channel just telling you about so many stories, oh, man. You know, us Chicago niggas got a different frequency. West Side crazy. Oh, damn, we got a lot of West Siders in here, I see. I love y'all, and I got to respect y'all because put it to y'all like this, right? When you think of L.A., you think of Game Banger. When you think of the Bay, you think of Pippin', Mackin', Hustle. You think of all of that with the Bay Area. That's just how it is with the South and the West Side. When you think of the South Side of the Shy, you think of the Game Banger. When you think of the West Side, you think of Hustling. You think of uh, uh, Pimping. You know what I mean? The, what am I saying? The West Side about their money. It wasn't that I couldn't pimp or do my thing on the soft side. Sure, I didn't mess with some soft side tracks, but I was mostly doing my thing as far as, you know what I mean, the real Chicago on the West Side. Why? Because the West Side was about their money. It was a little more pimpish than the soft side. You know, before I started, you know what I mean, learning out, you know what I mean, like, damn, the whole Illinois is a gold mine. So not just downtown, that's when I started fucking around, you know what I mean, with just Illinois, period. I ain't going to give away all that game. But I just say that, uh, yeah, Illinois, once you know Illinois, the whole Illinois, the whole state is a gold, man. Not just Chicago, but, of course, you know, our city is, you know, it's the city. But, yeah, you know, the West Side was just about... They money. South side, all these beautiful homes, all these beautiful, the, the community. Like if, you, if you've if you actually been from the ghetto ghetto and you go to the south side, you're going to be like, why are they killing? Why are they so angry? Why are they fighting all the time? Why did This is a nice house. This is like a nice neighborhood. <laughs> oh, my God. But so many demons. So many demons in these nice communities, boy, I tell you. You would think, you would think that it's beautiful in certain places. Look, you would think that uh that the West Siders, you know, stay there. But no, it's the South Siders with that dumb shit. You might meet a bitch. Shout out to my ladies. Shout out to my West Side of Chicago women. You might get you a bitch from the West Side. You know what I mean? I don't know how they, I ain't, you know, had a West Side Chicago bitch in a minute. Make me want to call, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But um, if you, I'm talking about before the game. If you got your cool little West Side bitch, chances are, you know what I mean? She got her own little hustle on. You know what I mean? The bitch might work at the post office. The bitch might sell weed. You know what I mean? She got Section 8. And she got that good link card. You know what I mean? Pussy bomb. You know what I mean? The bitch got, you know what I mean? A 10G signal on the head. Like, tch, unlimited texting on the pussy. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she cool. And she gonna get to the money. She gonna help you get to the bread. West side bitch be with the function. You know what I mean? She's always getting to the, trying to get to some money. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of the West Side bitches that I did me, I must say that, yes, they was on they shit. I remember one little West Side bitch, she got involved with uh, a nigga that got a settlement, and he had some cool little dope, but she never quit her job, though. Yeah, she was still fucking and sucking on him, and he was whining and dining the bitch, but the whole time... While he whining and dining and tricking off and shit like that, she was still saving up her little square checks. So, yeah, he was giving her money and, yeah, you know, to do this and do that, but she never quit her job. She just spent his money and saved hers. Let me see. I fucks with Compton Watts. That's our family. Straight lawyer. Stony Island in the building. 87. Shout out to, shout out to Brother Cox. You know what I mean? Shout out to Mike, man. Yeah, Stoney in the building. Don't even say that. That got me thinking of uh, certain people and certain things. Hey, and this is another thing I can say too, right? You know what I mean? Like, if you go, it's so, like, for you motherfuckers that want to start businesses and shit, uh, I ain't been there. I can't speak too much. 
because I ain't touched Chicago. My feet ain't touched Chicago since 2018, so I can't really do too much. I ain't touched in years. But what I will say, the last time I was there, man, it was so many vacancies. It was so many places that a motherfucker that wanted to start a business, start a barbershop or a restaurant, man, there's so many places to do that on Stony, And it don't take a lot of money either. He probably was laying on his stomach with his feet in his head. Marshall Stop. Late 80s, early 90s. There was a lot of hustlers on the soft low end. But yeah, it was a lot of gang banging. No, I can't take away. Don't get it twisted. The soft side, we had our pimps. We had our hustlers. We had our individuals. Like, okay, for example, right? Even the gang bangers in the 90s, you know what I mean? You would still see them getting clean. Every now and then, you would still see gangsters in the 90s. Yes, they was killers. Yes, they was about their business. Yes, they'll fuck you up on site. But at the same time, you know, you might see, you know what I mean, uh, 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 one of the gangsters. You might see one of the brothers, you know what I mean, uh, and he got on a silk jacket. You might see him, you know what I mean, with rings or a chain on and shit like that. And he in some cold, casual wear, you know. Everybody didn't have pants hanging off their ass and all of that shit. You know what I mean? You had some gangsters that was very presentable. You had individuals that every time you seen them, man, you know what I mean? If he wasn't suited and booted, you know, he was casual. You know, with silk shirts on and shit. Buying of the best. Yeah. Willie Lord was not the only one, you know what I mean, coming through, you know what I mean, in limos and things like that. You know what I mean? And shout out, of course, to the legacy a Willie Lord, but on the soft side, yeah, we had individuals, man, coming through, you know what I mean, in limos, and some was riding in Bentleys and, and Benzes and things like that. You know, you had individuals doing their thing. Shout out to the twins, you know what I mean? But you had individuals that was really doing their thing. You said Fluky. Well, Fluky is before they time. They don't know nothing about Fluky Stokes. Uh, there were certain, you know, kings that might have had more money uh, than Fluke. But as far as power is concerned, there wasn't too many people uh, equivalent or shouldn't be mentioned in the same conversation uh, with a Fluky Stokes. Because Fluky wasn't just getting to the money. You know, Fluky was fly and all of that. But man, Fluky had the cops under him. You know what I mean? He, he, just, he really had power. He wasn't about trying to gang bang. He was about trying to get to the dollar trying to get to the money, you know, going to Vegas, splurging, you know, gambling and things like that, wearing them big ass diamonds, you know what I mean? Fluky was, Fluky was the man. And that's why you have to respect even Bishop Don Magic Juan, because Bishop come from that era and he was shining in that era. He even got pictures, you know what I mean, with Fluky and he was shining then. You know, he's really a piece of Chicago, you know what I mean, that man. He comes from, from that golden era. Let me see. I couldn't do Milwaukee and Chicago in the winter. Cali weather got me spoiled. Nigga, I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, A nigga come from that Midwest or he come from that East and he hit that West Coast and get on, or that, uh, uh, he hit that Miami or he hit that Hawaii you know what I mean? And get some of that sun. Yes, he will get very spoiled. Because when I came from uh, Scottsdale and came here, I was like, maybe it ain't the will of the game. Maybe this ain't what, maybe I was moving too fast. Man, that cold air, I was like, God damn. Thank God a nigga was uh, eating healthy and putting nothing but water and fruit in his body at the time. But man, shit, that cold weather hit me, man. I'm like, man, I think it's time for me to go back. <laughs> I was like, man, I could go knock holes and have holes, man, wherever I go, man. Maybe it ain't God, maybe it ain't the will of the game for me to be here. But, you know, as you keep staying, you, you adjust to it, you know. But I miss uh, being in Scottsdale. Like, Scottsdale, coldest days used to be in the 60s. If you from Chicago, nigga, you know if it's 60-something degree weather, bitches are still coming out with shorts on. <laughs> 
You know what I mean? If it's if it's sixty something degree weather, man, we still up, man. We playing ball. We doing all of that shit outside, man. Sixty something degrees, man. That's a beautiful day in the shy. Man, that's a beautiful day. But in sixty something degree weather in Scottsdale, them motherfuckers is putting on coats and jackets. You would think that it's fifteen below zero the way AZ people be dressing when they get it in the sixties. But you put you put it on sixty some degrees in the shy. Oh man, that's a beautiful day. Ambassador Ron, I was speaking about you earlier, man. Shout out to you, love to you, love one. Arizona is cool if you got water on you. Uh, I mean it's cool regardless, man. I ain't gonna lie. Once this situation is like completely over and I'm able to come back to the states and come back here with no problem, because I can come back to the States now. It just ain't guaranteed that I'll be able to get back in here, you know, so easily. So I have to, you know I mean, get certain things done here first. Uh, but if I had my, if I was having my way as far as power is concerned in that regard, I would have been back in AZ with no problem and got me another place too. Yeah, give me a whole nother place, you know what I mean, up in that motherfucking AZ. And what I started doing is, you know, spending all my time here. But when the winter time come, I will be right back in the States in that AZ fucking around. You know, in that 60, 70 degree weather in the winter time. You don't know how that used to sit up there and fuck with this bitch, man. I should call her right now. You know what I mean? The big head bitch, you know, the main reason why I came out here, right? Uh, and, and I do have other reasons. Let me not, you know, you got to watch what you say. You'll start. You said that she was the man. And you said, all right, bitch. But listen, um, uh, let me say this. Do you know how that used to make that bitch feel when we used to FaceTime and it was cold and it was snow on the ground and it was cold out here? And me and her would be FaceTiming and she would see the sun and the palm trees all in the back. Sometime I would be at the Venetian. You know what I'm saying? And then, uh, here you go, Mr. Gilmore. Would you like anything else? I'm FaceTiming with the bitch. You know what I mean? She's seeing all the trees and the sun and the white people walking in the background and all that type of shit. Like, damn. I know the bitch was like, damn, I, I need to be out there. Seeing this Scottsdale be hitting. Nigga, you ain't never lied. It's 49 degrees in Oakland, California. The north gets cold as fuck. Man, shout out to Oakland. Uh, but that's one thing about them Oakland niggas, though, man. You know, uh, hot, cold, whatever the motherfucking weather is, you know, they're going to be at a bitch. Yeah. And that's why these niggas do not be having them hoes in the Bay Area. Niggas is going to be uh, Harriet Tubman. And start an underground railroad for these hoes before they set them down in that Bay Area, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because them Bay Area niggas is going to be at the bitch. They're going to give an all-you-can-hear buffet in the eardrum of that bitch, man. They're going to sweat that bitch. Yet and snare me to motherfucking Israel to hell, nigga, if they could. <laughs> Shout out to the Bay. I was thinking the same thing. Went to Florida and I fell in love with how clear the water is. Nigga, a Bay Area, you better lace that bitch up right, nigga. A Bay Area nigga gonna follow that bitch in the motherfucking gas station, still trying to have a conversation with that bitch. You know what I mean? She's like, oh my God, I could just see a motherfucking green ass bitch now. I had to go to the bathroom. What did you want me to do? Pee on myself? Oh my God, why are you hollering and screaming at me? Why are you cussing me out? I just had to go to the bathroom. And once I went to the bathroom, it was like 12, 13 niggas just screaming all in my ear. Where was you? Where was you at? <laughs> oh, shit. Sometimes the niggas on 27 go through that shit too. You know what I mean? Out there in that motherfucking AZ and shit. I had to go. All I did was go into the Circle K. I just wanted to go to the bathroom. I wasn't expecting all them niggas to sweat me. And now you just hollering and calling me all type of stupid bitches. And all I wanted to do was just use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm from Chicago, but I visit uh, Florida. Okay. 
Vallejo in the building. Shout out to him. Shout out to my nigga Top Dog. Typical bitch excuse. Right. Bitch, I ain't trying to hear that dumb ass shit. You saw Ambassador Ron and his friends and shit. You saw all of them pimps outside shining with minks on and suits on. And bitch, you took your ass over there because you wanted to be seen. You saw the one million man march, the one million nigga man march, bitch, outside the gas station, and you still took your dizzy ass over there. All of these niggas got rings and chains on. You seeing Cadillacs and Benzes and motherfucking Escalades and shit all outside, Maseratis and shit, and you going to walk your motherfucking ass right in front of them with a sign on your back saying, please sweat me. I'm a green ass bitch. Please sweat me. You know, one time, homie, uh, swim, Jack London in the Bay, it was pimps and hoes in there. Yeah, I seen that happen firsthand. Man, I done seen it happen cross country. <laughs> I, I've seen it happen cross country. I've seen it happen, you know what I mean, in many places. It's certain places where a bitch don't go. That's just like in Vegas. If, uh, 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 let's see if a young pimp, yeah, man, they was just all over my hoe. Where you have the bitch, they wouldn't let her work, P. They wouldn't let her work. Where you had the bitch? Oh, I had her in the Barbary, Co the Barbary Coast, or, do you know what I mean? He might say Bills, or it's something else now. What y'all call that motherfucker now? It ain't Bills no more. They call it something else now. It used to be the Barbary Coast. It used to be, it used to be, uh, Bills. But Divine know what I'm talking about. A bitch ain't got no business in there. The crime will. Yeah, you ain't got no business in the crime will. Which I still call bills to this day. Because that's more of my era. You know what I mean? But yeah, you don't have no business. A bitch, unless you with a trick, why are you in here? And even if you with that trick, you should be encouraging him to get the fuck out. Because everybody knew that bills was pimp central. If you really wanted to see a pimp, bitch, if you really wanted to get out of bounds, if you really wanted to see pimps campaigning and talking shit, because, man, sometimes pimps would meet up at 2, 3 in the morning at the bar at Bill's, and you can come back 9, 10 in the morning, 11 in the morning, and motherfuckers are still talking and chopping it up at that same bar. They ain't went nowhere. So a bitch didn't have no excuse for even walking past Bill's. And that's when you know a nigga ain't got no instructions for a bitch, especially this. She's a beautiful white blonde, and he got the bitch. You know what I mean? Walking all up in goddamn uh, crime wheel and shit like that. You can tell a green ass bitch fucking with a green ass nigga. Where am I? This channel just recommended on my timeline. Oh, it did. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Out of there. Out of there. You know what I mean? They said you said they recommended you. I unrecommended you. I blocked you. <laughs> I blocked you just because. You know what I mean? Stacy came up in here like, man, they recommended me in here. Well, I unrecommended your ass. Go back to wherever the fuck you was. <laughs> Out of there. Out of there. Still Barbary Coast to me. Oh, okay. Seeing they could be a potential subscriber. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Came in with that green square ass introduction. Get your goof ass on. Hey, Sin. I read both books from Gorgeous Dre and Rosebud. Which book do you prefer? Both is great. I ain't read neither one. That's my brother, and I ain't even read his book, but to each his own. I still ain't read uh, Road to Paradise. I ain't never read that motherfucker. And I ain't never read Rose Buck, Rose uh, Bud book either. And no disrespect to them, you know what I mean. Uh, uh, one of these days, I think I might have to sit down and read Road to Paradise. But you got to remember, man. After having so many six and seven hour conversations, you know what I mean. What a motherfucker, man. Uh, I know what's in that shit. I know what's in Ro Road to Paradise. You know what I'm saying? But go ahead. You know what I mean. Uh, uh, if I had to pick between the two of them, you know I'm gonna say Dre. You know, because Dre gonna keep it real. Dre ain't gonna do too much lying. You know, some of these niggas be putting too much relish and shit on they pimping, man. That's why I don't be reading these niggas' books, because niggas be lying. They don't want to tell about the downside. They want to tell you about 
how they had a hoe for 15 years, how the bitch stayed down for 20 years, but he don't tell you about that part where he got knocked though. He don't, they don't be telling about the part where, you know what I mean, uh, when they got knocked or when that bitch went back to go live with her mama for eight months or a year. They always make it to y'all like the bitch just been down, completely down for 15 and, and 20 goddamn years, but they never tell you about the part like, yeah, she did leave for like a year and a half. You know what I mean? The bitch got married. You know what I mean? Her husband got killed in a car accident. She cried for a month. She came back to pimping. She chose up with me when, once her husband, you know what I mean, got killed. She had got married to a trick. You know what I mean? The trick-ass husband got killed in a car accident. She got back on, oh, my God, I just feel like that since I left your pimping, like my life has just been, I don't know what to do. You know what I mean? Then she get back on pimping line. You know, she done finally found her mind and took an accident, you know, for this trick husband to die for her to get her mind back. They don't tell you shit like that. They don't tell you about them situations. They don't tell you about, you know, um, you know, yeah, man, you know, the bitch was down with me, but she got on drugs here. Uh, you know, and that don't happen with every hoe, but it does happen. That's why I say I'm not really into reading these niggas' books. I know they be lying. I done been lied to enough. I don't need to be reading a book of lies. You know, keep it real with me. Let me know. I want to know the ups and downs and turnarounds. I know this game is like the stock market. You're not gonna, I don't want to read a book or just nothing but ups. I know you're lying to me. I want you to mention that part where you was at the Greyhound. I want you to mention that part, you know what I mean, where you were so fucked up, you know what I mean, that you were sitting over there thinking about selling drugs. Yeah. You had went, you was ho-po, you went ho-po, you know what I mean, for two months, and you was tempted to sell drugs. You had, you was uh, talking to your drug dealing homeboys, and you was thinking about sitting over there uh, getting into the dope game, you know, so you could appear to be a winner again, so you can campaign. And sh That's the shit I be going, I be wanting to hear about real situations. Don't lie to me, because I know this game for real, for real. I am single my father's kid. Man, listen, unless you super chatting, I don't want to hear all that goofy shit gone. Hey, Lisa, hey, baby, shout out to all the ladies. But look, man, I done talked shit for over three hours. Yeah, I done talked, and I'm going to be talking more shit this whole December, though, right? Yeah, I, uh, I know November, man, was kind of, eh. You know, of course, I was active as a motherfucker on my Patreon. I'm always going to be active on my Patreon. But... I wasn't as active, you know, on uh, YouTube, and we're going to put more content out this month, you know? Ain't nothing wrong with selling drugs, man. It is when you're an active pimp. If you want to sell drugs, then sell drugs, but you can't sell drugs and say you just pimping. No, nah, pimps ain't selling no drugs, man. No, nah, uh-uh. But, I mean, if that's what you want to do, be a hustler. Do your thing. Be a Mac. Get your Mac on. You know, I'm not speaking against that. You know, but, appreciate that, Vic. But, you know, pimps only pimp. That other shit is subjective. That's a video right there, the downside of pimping. Why is it called the blade and tracks? I know corny green quote. No, it ain't. Uh, well, first of all, you know, what is a blade, baby? I'm going to use your beautiful mind to solve this. What is a blade? Think about that. What is a blade? Define a blade. When you think of a blade, what do you think of? I'm going to wait on you. Help me out. I'm slow. But when you think of a blade, what do you think about? And then we can, uh, he said a knife.
how they never been a knife. Okay. Okay, whether it be a knife or sword, right? But you think of cutting. You know? It's so like this, for example, when we when you create a hoe, it's just like creating a house. What do you think of from from bottom to top? If I create a house, if I, you know what I mean, decide to build a house from the bottom up, what do I got to do? I got to start from the bottom to the top, from the ground up. That's the same way how you build a woman. That's the same way how you build a hoe, from the ground up in this game. So when we say, you know what I mean, to the track where pimps and hoes get famous at, when we speaking on that blade, you know what I mean, uh, Everybody, you know, has to realize that, hey, man, all diamonds got to be cut. And we're going to see if you make the cut or you don't make the cut. How are we going to see that? By sending you outside. I'm going to see if you cut, you know, for the lifestyle. I can't see that if I don't send you to this blade. If I keep you in this hotel room, if I shield you away, you know what I mean, from all of the peas and, you know, Ambassador Ron, Ambassador Ron and Sepulveda the Prince. If I, you know, play Black Ops or uh, Omnipresent the P or uh, become Harriet Tubman and create an underground railroad for you, hiding you away from pimping, hiding you away from the turmoils and snares and, you know, adversities and difficulties that await you in the streets. If I hide that away from you, then I'll never know what I have. I don't never know. I never know what's in you. I can't really brag about having you for five and 10 and 15 and 20 years if you never went through anything. I don't even know if you cut like that. Are you cut where you can sit up there and actually, you know what I mean? A, a man hop out, out of a car and he push you down and you get back up and you keep hoeing. That's a hoe right there. She she cut like that. Or maybe if I'm if I'm cross country, I'm in a whole nother region. And you in another region and you taking care of my business. And because they haven't physically seen no man around you, they just assume that you're not paying pimping. And let's say one of them half baked game banger, you know, want to be professing pimps running in on your running your hotel room. Cause he think you don't got no man. You know what I mean? And he say, he say, bitch, you know what I mean? Break yourself. You know what I mean? Bitch is pimping. Woo, 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 woo. And the bitch sit up there and say, I do got folks and woo, 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 woo. But he never knew that cause I wasn't physically around. But even when the bitch sit up there, even when he came into the room and he was doing this and that, the bitch still what? She still conducted herself like a hoe. Without the pip, the pimping is in a whole nother region. And the only reason why they thought that this bitch didn't have no, they thought the bitch was a renegade. You know what I mean? Like, man, she ain't speaking to nobody. She ain't, I ain't never seen her break herself. I don't never see pimping chopping it up with her at a gas station. I ain't never seen nothing. I just see this bitch getting in and out of cars. Exactly. She doing what a hoe supposed to do. She's cut like that. She's cut for the game, meaning that, you know, Pimpin could be in a whole nother region and she's still taking care of business. Niggas sitting over there pushing her down. Niggas sitting over there uh, uh, doing stupid shit, touching her when you only supposed to be pimping with your mouth. You only supposed to be campaigning with your mouth. But motherfuckers be doing all type of shit contrary to what the fuck they supposed to do. And that bitch sit up there, you understand me, endure all of that. She go through all of that just to bring all of that back to that man. You know, she's cut like that. Bitch been raped before. Most weak uh, bitches, you know what I mean, would have set up there, oh my God, I can't do this. And I understand, you know, God bless you. But the bitch ended up getting raped or she might've been in a situation with a trick. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, he took it, the condom off. You know what I mean? She didn't find out until later. She green in the game and shit like that. But instead of acting like, 
you know what I mean? It was like, I, she just can't go on no more. Man, she got checked out, found out she didn't have no disease, took a motherfucking shower, put on some new whole attire, and got right back, you know what I mean, to getting a, a, a pimp's money. She's cut like that. You know, or, you know, maybe she might be with a pimp and they might be in an Uber right now. They might be in a Lyft and everybody else is driving, you know, what I mean, Benzes and, and Lax and Maseratis and Porsches and Bentleys and shit, you know, uh, or might be like Ambassador uh, Ron coming through in the limo. And guess what? She's staying in pocket for the man that she came uh, in a Lyft with. In an Uber with. All these niggas got rings and chains on and all of that. And they spent their best game out the window. And this bitch still staying in pocket for this man. She hoeing around police officers and gang bangers and strangers. And she hoeing around dogs and all of this shit that's outside. Just to sit up there and have this man's trap right top of the morning. She's cut like that. Every diamond got to be what? It got to be cut. Every piece of gold got to go through what? The fire. If it don't go through fire, then it can't come out as pure gold. If it's not cut, then it's definitely not a diamond. So, you know, the blade, you know, uh, we going to find out what type of character you got. We going to find out if this shit really in you like that. You know, because you might find out the bitch might get arrested. And so I know real ones know where I'm coming from. You know, you might send a bitch. She fuck around and get arrested. And man, she acting like her mama and her father got killed the first day. And the bitch just got arrested for, you know, solicitation charge. Oh, my God, I'm in jail. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, my God. Oh, the bitch calling you 50 million times within two seconds because she in jail for a motherfucking uh, <laughs> solicitation charge. She acting like the feds that came down on her or something. Helicopters, everything. Oh, my God, I can't do. Oh, I just can't do this. But you would have never found out how weak this bitch is and how unworthy she is to be in this game if you never sent the bitch outside. It takes sending her outside. It takes sending her out to the blade. It takes sending her uh, to situations where she might have some hardships, some fucked up circumstances that's going to come to come to that revelation of character. Because, you know, you might be like, damn, this bitch weak as hell. This bitch said, no. yeah, I can tell that if they had pressed her hard enough you know what I mean? She was going, yeah, this ain't the right bitch for me. Bitch calling me 60 million times within two seconds because she got arrested, you know what I mean, for solicitation. Man, I can't do this. Yeah, yeah, she not cut for the game. Yeah, so, you know, you find all of this out outside. You will never know what you have until it's tested. And where do women get tested at? Where do women... uh? you know, mostly get tested. Where's the adversities at? Outside, on the blade. We gonna find out if she cut like that. If she not cut like that, then she gonna get cut off. We we'll appreciate that five, fam. You can't hit the front page of this game without the breaking news before it shine. Hold on. You can't just hog the little pocket to yourself. I'm coming through. P, we got to talk about our car, uh, car game one time. Love one, you know what I mean? What was, uh, you know what I mean, your coldest uh, whip uh, you campaigned in? Uh, I mean, shit, you know what I mean? All I've been known for, you know what I mean, is, uh, you know, them vets. You know what I mean? Fucking around and, you know what I mean, court vets. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, seeing, you know what I mean, came through and, you know, with the Jags and all that, limos and all of that, but... Honestly, uh, if I would have to say, you know, uh, dear to me after a motherfucker and sit up there and had so many, you know, uh, cars in the game, but the first car that's, you know, going to be precious to you is the first one that you pimped up for. Now, of course, you know, after that, I have to say, of course, I can't take away from, you know, when you, uh, you pimp for, you know, something that's, uh, you know, exquisite on a higher level. You know, I can't take away from the pimps that it had you know, the double R's and, 
you know, uh, and things of that nature. But uh, I have to say that, you know, every car that I pimp for, but especially, you know what I mean, my first baby, you know what I mean, that mo that's why when you see me sitting up there talking about it, you know what I mean, I smile. Why? Because I pimped for it. You know what I mean? When I sit up there, you know what I mean, and uh, they had got the bitch pregnant with this game and gave birth, you understand me, to that motherfucking uh, taupe jag. That's why Bill be smiling and shit all the time. You're like, man, P, I get worked up every time, you know what I mean, that you talked about it. But, you know, with my pimping, I don't never tell no lies. I ain't never sit up there and had no uh, double R's. Could I jump in a double R right now? Yeah, I could. Yeah, it feel good to say that too, but yeah, I really could. Am I going to do it? Uh, no. But do I have the money and even just beyond the money, do I have the credit right now uh, to jump in any car that I want to jump in right now? Yeah, I, I, I do. There's not one car that uh, I couldn't get in right now. Not one. You know, not because it's just, just my money, but my credit is there. Uh of course, you know, I don't like to talk like that, but uh, right now I'm having it my way. There's not one car that I can't get in right now. And it feel good to say that because uh, if I was to come out with a book right now, it'd be called Because I Pimped It That Way. But <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, uh, it feel good to talk like that. But yeah, I, I pimped for it. And there's not one car that I can't get in. Now, will I do it in the circumstance that I'm in? No, because I know it'll bring the wrong attention. And, you know, most in this area, they don't even know how good I'm doing. You know, and I'm going to keep it like that. And so, you know, until I get to where I want to get to at certain levels that, you know, I mean, I want to touch. And once I'm completely out of the lifestyle and completely on the other side where I have more power to do my thing, then I can clown like that. But uh, as of now, no, that wouldn't be the right move. That wouldn't be the right move. But, you know, I mean, um, you know, I don't have no, I can't make up into something because if it's not true, I can't tell it. But, no, I've never, I, I know what you really want to ask. F seeing did you have, did you ever touch, you know what I mean, the double lock? I've never had a Rolls Royce. No. You know what I mean? I've never, uh, uh, seeing did you ever uh, ride in a double, I've done, you know what I mean, uh, you know, of course, the uh, Rolls Royce limo and Zemers and all of that. But as far as like have the ride myself and own it, I'm not talking about lease it. I'm talking about own it in the same year. Uh, no, I've never I've never done that. But shout out to the pimps uh, that have. But, you know, you got to keep it 100 with this game. Right. And no, I, uh -uh. you know, and that's why I told you, you know what I mean? Gangst people like Gangsta Brown. You know, it's to be honored. Of course, that was a different era, but, you know, I, don't, I just don't like when people just be, you know, they don't pay homage or uh, bring certain ones' names up when these individuals represented the game, you know, on a very high level, you know, uh, at the time. You know, and not only did it, not just, and, and, and it ain't to diminish anybody, because I think somebody, well, P. A. Bentley is a Bentley. I respect that. But we do have to honor the ones, uh, that basically drove these cars and not only drove it, but they drove it in a year. <laughs> Cause you got some, you know, yeah, I'm in the Bentley. I'm in woo woo woo. But yeah, but it's damn near 10 years behind the year. You know, and if that's the case, then come on, man. Knock knock that shit out. You know, who can't get in, you know, I mean a, a 2008 or a 2010, you know what I mean, Bentley or something like, man, knock it off. You know what I mean? But Again, there is no uh, ride, especially right now, uh, that I can't get in. In the year. You still doing your limo thing out there? So, you know, every now and then. But as of right now, like I said, I'm not going to put my whole situation out there. But you got to remember, I was here before COVID. And then once COVID started, everything was locked down. The COVID really, you know, of course, you know, a lot of people were dying and you know, a lot of people got fucked up and um, made the will of God be done concerning those families. But you got to remember, man, for the longest of time, I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't spend no money. All I could do was collect my money. <laughs> I could collect my money.
Why you think I wasn't on, I wasn't in a rush to hurry up to get on YouTube. I was happy about hearing about what was going on with Kevin and all the rest of those guys and things like that. But just to keep it all the way 100, man, I was having so much money, especially when I came here, you know what I mean, to Canada, you know what I mean, uh, the first motherfucking year, nigga, I was blown away. First of all, I was just loving Canada because uh, you got to remember the Toronto Raptors had won, you know, that year. So it was just money everywhere. But especially when I start, you know, creating blades and different, and then, you know what I mean? I was able to just kick my feet off, my, my, my feet up because of the pimping, you know what I mean, that I've done, you know what I mean? And, and I couldn't spend no money. Man, you know, it feel good when you can sit up there and take care of your family and you know, look out for your pee partner and shit like that. You know, look out for different pimps and young pimps and family members and shit like that. You know, that, and, and listen, no disrespect, but that's why, you know what I mean, when uh, Charleston was talking about uh, uh, he made this much and that much, I'm like, damn, I, I gave that much money away. <laughs> he talking about the money he made for the month. I'm like, damn, I gave that away in cash apps. And that's not to brag, but... You know what I mean? God has been good to me. And I just put it like that. Let me humble myself. God has been good to me. The game has been good to me. It really has. But yeah, man, uh, you know, to get back, because I'll be on this all day long. Uh, I don't want to put that out, but let me just put it out there like that. I was pimping and I'm still pimping. That's the difference. Uh, I wasn't trying to buy no jewelry. I wasn't trying to have the best car. Uh, I wasn't tr uh, trying. And that's why Canada was such a blessing for me because I was completely out of the way. I didn't have to. I didn't have the spirit of any competition. This ain't no disrespect to the Canadians, but I never considered them to be competition because, you know, a lot of these guys are selling drugs and they had other things in they mix. I never thought them to be in my league or my level. So the only thing left for me to do was to save my money. The only thing left for me to do was keep piling up, you know what I mean, my dollars and, and keep my women happy. But, you know, as far as on my side, you know what I mean, I was happy and still happy. You don't see me sitting over there crying for jugs and, you know, you never hear my, like, just keep it real. You never hear my name in those conversations. There's a reason for that, you know. Rallo used to have a song, I think it's on the Endangered Species, uh, one of my favorites about him, because I'm pimping. <laughs> I'm pimping. You know, I'm not going to bring up this 1P name, but he had came up a little bit, right? So he was calling everybody, checking on everybody and shit. He was like, you know, seeing, man, what you want, what you... I was like, nigga, don't insult me, nigga. I'm pimping. Man, I don't need them little... Man, call that nigga. Call that nigga and look out for him. Nigga, I don't need you to look out for me. I'm pimping. Fuck, I need you to look out for me or, or, or send me... You know what I mean? Man, I'm pimping. I don't need that little shit. You know? Every man's desire is not have all that flashy uh, shit. No, don't get it twisted. No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. Uh, this is not... Uh, Oh, man, I don't want to be flashy. It's not that. I'm going to just tell you this, right? When you're a big fish in a small pond, don't do anything to ruin that. If you have a beautiful situation, why do things to bring the wrong attention on yourself, especially when you're from another country? There are certain things that can get you deported, sweating other niggas' holes, you know, they don't like you already because you're American. The bitch is going to love you. But as far as these niggas, let them find out that you're from America. And you sweat in they hoes. That's why I told you, when you come to places like Canada, best thing for you to do is to be a turnout artist. You need to be turning on and turning out women to the game. As far as like sweating these dudes for they hoes, once they find out that you're from America and you've been here for over six months, you've been over that period... They're going to snitch on you and get you deported. Or, you know what I mean? If you driving that, you wearing that, you got that, you got that, 
You know what I mean? Just like anywhere else. You know what I mean? They're going to be plotting to try to rob you. You know? And I'm 38 years old and I ain't never been robbed before for a reason. You know what I mean? For a reason. Uh, not because I'm tough. It's because of the mercies of God on my life, number one. And number two, I don't make provisions for me to be robbed. Just like, okay, right now, when I come outside, right, they're not going to know uh, my life unless you, you know, been listening to the channel and shit like that. But just looking at me, you know what I mean, wearing, you know what I mean, uh, a white tee or a black shirt with some jogging pants, you know what I mean, and some Jordans or some Air Force Ones and shit like that. How would you know that I have any money? I haven't been wearing uh, suits every now and then. You know what I mean? I get suited and boots, but I'm just keeping it real. It doesn't bring that state's atmosphere. I'm not in that atmosphere. I'm not in that temperature no more. So when you catch me at Whole Foods and shit like that, I'm looking like I'm about to play basketball or go to the gym. I'm, I don't look like I'm uh, going to a player's ball or, or any of that. So you would never know if I have money or not i look i'm dressed like a regular nigga and i've come to find out you know it was better for uh me to uh come up on these squares and get closer to them being dressed just like them you know yeah now every now and then you know what i mean I, and don't and, and don't get it twisted i miss getting suited and booted every goddamn day Cause me and Freeze did that every day for years, <laughs> but um, here I told y'all, man, I live life like an old man. I don't, I don't do anything. Like, okay, for example, now my legal dough don't look like that other dough, but my legal dough is starting to come up, and one day my legal dough will look like you know that dough. Or more than that. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting to that point. You know, my highest uh, earning month, you know what I mean, legally, um, you know, was a little bit over 24000 You know what I mean? Which is not bad, but in comparison to people like, you know, when you got people like O'Shea or when you're watching people like the lead attorney or if you ever had a conversation you know what I mean, with Kevin Samuels or heard about, you know, Kevin Samuels when he was at his height, then you know that uh, that ain't shit. You know, when I found out that uh, one month Kev made, you know, 600 and, you know, 80 something thousand, you know, within one month, one month, I knew that I was playing. <laughs> I, hey, listen. I ain't got one hater bone in my body. You know, when I hear shit like that, man, it motivate me, man. I just like the fact that, you know, it can be done. But to hear that a motherfucker had made 680 some thousand, you know what I mean, within one month, you know what I mean, legally, oh, man, all the motivation in the world. You know what I mean? That Man, if that don't set you on fire, if that don't provoke you, some niggas, they gonna be hating. But... If that don't provoke you, if that don't motivate you, especially if you appear in my position with this shit type of shit, you know, going on, it's like, man, just think if my money was looking like that. Hey, let me just say that, put that out there now. If my money looking like that, you know, these hoes going to get scared. <laughs> they going to get scared. See, and why you say they going to get scared? Because... With this little level that I'm on already making the legal money that I'm making, you know, on this little level, you know, they be saying and doing little uh, funny ass shit, you know, because once a bitch know that you got some good legal money coming in, you got some good dough coming in, you know, they know they, they even tell you hoes even tell you like you acting funny now. You acting like you don't need a hoes money. You know what I mean? No more. And I will say this. When you're in a position where you're making money outside of this bitch's trap, um, it is a confidence. It is an arrogance that does come with that. Because I know what it's like 
to completely rest. And you're, you're pretty much rest. You're depending on, you know, the trap of this hoe. And she knows that. And I'll never forget one time, you know, my mind goes back to a time, man, where I was on the phone arguing with this hoe. And she knew that I needed this because my phone bill was due. The rent was due. The light bill, the gas bill, all of these bills, the cable bill, all of these bills is due. And money been funny, you know, shit been slow, and she know that I needed this. And the bitch was just being a complete punk on the phone. Oh, nah, nah, uh-uh, nah, see, nah, see, I, uh-uh. I, and then, you know, I just feel like, you know, what am I breaking myself? You don't want to spend no time with me. A bitch need more than just, you know, some game and all of that. I'm a woman. You know, I need time. And then, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know, what's the name ain't even paying you like that. You know what I mean? She should have been fired. And woo, 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 woo. And when you still fucked on that bitch, then knowing that, woo, woo I'm talking about all type of shit. And it's like, wait a minute. You know that my bills is due? You know the circumstance that I'm in and you trying to play with me like this and anybody that know me, I'm a very, some people might say egotistical, but I just see me as a man and I just felt like the bitch wanted me to get on my knees and kiss her booty and kiss her coochie and have praise and worship, sir. Yes, baby, you right. I need you. You know what I mean? Please. I'm sorry. For all my unpimpish ways. I should have never fucked that. I should only be dicking you down. I should only be spending time with you. None is like thee, oh ho. None is greater than you. For your horn comes from the heavens. I appreciate thee, oh ho. I thank God for the day that you were made. Oh my God, you are my queen. When this game is over, you're going to be my wife. And you're going to be with me for the rest of my life. She wanted me to say all of this faggot ass shit. Bitch, I'm not going to say all that faggot ass shit to you, bitch. Fuck you. Got to kiss your motherfucking ass and shit like this. Well, bitch, I guess I'm going to be homeless then because, bitch, you got me fucked up. So I sat up there, man, and hung up, man. And of course, you know, bitch kept calling me and shit like that. But see, even thinking about that, even in the circumstance that I'm in now, it get me fired up like, man, I come a long way. And I don't never want to be in a circumstance like that no more. I got certain partners that's my age and older, and they still in that same circumstance where, you know, he got to disrespect himself. He got to kind of bend over backwards to maintain this situation because this situation is what's paying his bills. And I just want to take the time out, man. Listen, I'm kind of, hey, I, I got to get off here, man. I didn't talk myself. I'm kind of getting emotional, man. Listen, I don't got it like everybody else uh, on YouTube. You know, some of these dudes, man, they went to college and, you know, and shout out to them. This is not to minimize them, man. They, they man, they did a beautiful, they finished school, man. They, they got some great businesses going. But if it had not been for you guys, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Patreon family. Shout out to my consultation family. But if it had not been for you guys, you know, shout out to my YouTube family. But shout out to the ones that really, truly, sincerely support me. Because it's getting to the point where in the future, I will be able, of course, I got enough money saved up and my credit is looking excellent. And I'm, uh, I'm not really the one that's like an informative representative pertaining to credit. I just pay my bills before time and on time. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why my credit, I ain't did nothing special. You know, it's, it's certain guys in here that's listening to me. They can explain that credit shit way better than me. All I did was take care of business. All I did was pay bills on time and before time, you know what I mean, for years. And that's why my credit looked like that. You know, nothing really special. Uh, but... I'm going to say this to you, right? I sincerely thank you. 
You know what I mean? Because it's through this that I'm going to endeavor to try to open up some doors even for younger pimps because I know that circumstance. And I'm sincerely saying this to you. You can't, you squares that's listening to me, you can't understand what I'm saying to you. Like, damn, why sin thanking us like this? But you wouldn't know. You don't know how it feels. That right, like for example, I pay every bill. Everything is paid with my legal money. Listen to what I'm saying to you. I pay everything. There's nothing that they can do. Why? Because everything that I, everything is taken care of with legal dough. I don't take care of anything with whole dough. All my bills, all the rent, their shit, everything is paid through legal dough. And that's what I would love for every young P to be able to do, to save them whole dollars and pay everything legally. If they ever check the city, how do you do this? How you did this? How was you able to pay this? And it just hit different when you have legal means, when you got legal money, you got legal currency and you like, listen, I paid this with this and I paid that with that. And you can provide the confirmation of this information. You can provide, you can say, listen, uh, tuh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, this didn't come from no pimping. This didn't come from no pimping. This came from this, 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 this. You know what I mean? It hit different. And of course, women wouldn't understand where I'm coming from, but the pimps do. I don't never want to be in that circumstance no more. Just like one P, he was like, man, P, man, man, uh, I really appreciate. I was like, man, you ain't got to thank me like that. I know where I, I've been in that circumstance. I know what it feel like. God forbid, I don't never want to be in that circumstance again where a woman, she get to decide my circumstance. I don't like that. Not at 38 years old. Mm -mm. I don't like. And I used to hate that even back then when I used to have plans and all my endeavors would have to be stopped all because the feelings of a bitch. We just talking real shit right now. If you've ever had any business endeavors, something that you was trying to get into, but your money got slow or your money didn't come in no more. Why? Because the feelings of a bitch. Oh my God. You would have to be in the game to understand. This shit gonna go completely over your head. I'm talking about straight lace pimps. I ain't talking about niggas that sell drugs and do all. I'm talking about motherfuckers that's completely, you know what I mean, pimping. That's why motherfuckers ask me about the car shit and all of that shit. You can tell when the nigga been straight lace pimping. I can't, I can't take nothing away from them other dudes. They did their thing. But that's why I can't agree with all that shit with the players ball. And all. If I have not pimped side by side with you, how do I know you're a straight lace pimp? Don't just show me no Rolls Royce. Show me if you, did you straight lace pimp for this though? Did you pimp for it though? Because I'm going to respect this motherfucking Cadillac that's been pimped for rather than somebody that has sold drugs and messing with the feds and got all this extra motherfucking uh, curriculum activity shit for these two Rolls Royces that he's showing on Instagram. Uh-uh. I want to see what came out the whole ass, man. You know what I mean? Don't show me all that other shit or show me how you took the money from the whole ass and you made some wise investments or you didn't saved up your money or something like that. You know what I mean? But don't, you know, all of that uh, extra shit, man, miss me with that. You know, we talking about straight lace pimping. And when you straight lace pimping, you going to go through some shit. That's why I told you I don't want to read nobody book because if they not keeping it real, it's a waste of time. When you a straight lace pimp, you going to go through some shit. Ain't no way in the world that you a straight lace pimp and you can't speak about times when you was leaking. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. But when you a straight lace pimp, a straight lace pimp gonna have some ups and downs and turnarounds. I'm not impressed with that nigga. 
Now, shout out to all my strip club pimps that ain't got rich off the strip club. I'm not taking nothing away from them guys. I'm not taking nothing away from them guys. Shout out to them. I know some pimps that got rich in the strip club. But at the same time, I'm talking about pimps that got hoes in the casinos or whether they got hoes, you know what I mean, at the motherfucking, you understand me, uh, 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 at the bar or whatever. Hey, ain't nothing going to beat that curve, though. But to each his own. You know, that curve build character, man. You know, that track, man, that blade, man, it build character like no other. Now, we could talk about them other outlets and shit, you know what I mean, them other leagues and dimensions and shit in the game as far as the financial. I understand all of that. But when it come to character, though, hey, don't nothing build character like them experiences that you're going to get from the blade. And like I said, a straight lace pimp, that's pimping according to the rules and regulations of the game. And he not selling no drugs. He ain't got no other extra shit going on. Everything is just nothing but whole dollars. He didn't pimp for it. It's a stress that come with that. You know what I mean? It's, it's some shit that come with that. You know, especially when he's a young pimp. You know, when he ain't uh, really don't got the game like that. You know what I mean? He don't have no mentor. He don't have nothing. He just learning as he pimp. Yeah, it's, 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 it's shit that come with that. That's why a lot of young pimps, you know what I mean, you be seeing them, you know, constantly smoking and drinking and on drugs and shit at the time. You know what I mean? Because he might not even have a peep partner that he could confide in or somebody that he could trust that he could tell his business to. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of them be going to them drugs and shit like that for a peace of mind. You know what I mean? Because after listening to all these motherfucking problems, and he got to come up with a solution for all of them. It's like, damn, you know, now who going to provide a solution to my problem? So a lot of the young pimps, they do be fucking around with them drugs and everything. That's why we got to, you know what I mean, support and promote people like Ambassador Ron and different individuals, you know what I mean, like myself, you know what I mean, that don't fuck with drugs, don't fuck with getting high and, and drunk and things like that. Positive examples, you know what I mean, to people praising people like, gorgeous dre praising people like you know gangster brown you know individuals man that abstain and refrain from putting them destructive things you know what i mean in their bodies you know shit like that let me see boy make a young pimp turn gray early man lose you talking about turning gray try losing hair <laughs> I know some pimps that they're from when we first started. Now these niggas is bald headed, man. <laughs> you know, they bald headed now. But listen, man, I didn't talk too much shit, man. I I done got to it where I got all these motherfucking text messages and missed calls and all this shit. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I got real emotional, man, when I started thinking about that circumstance, man. Because I remember that. I remember that time when that snitch bitch you know, had put me in that situation, man, where I only had a hundred and, you know what I mean? I think it was either 86 or $189. And, you know what I mean? I had told Freeze, like, man, they looking for me. And, you know what I mean? Don then called me, man, and told me, man, they knocking at my door, calling my government name. I got to get out of here. You know what I mean? Took that little $186, man, and jumped on the plane and came to Long Beach. And, man, and I only had $5 when I touched down. True story. Only had five dollars, man, when I touched down. And uh I called every bitch man in my phone and told me, man, if they ever wanted to speak to me again, they better have a reunion at, well with Western Union around this motherfucker, man, because uh yeah, I'm fucked up. See, when I was fucked up, I wasn't like you niggas. I wasn't taking pictures next to a man's car or you know, counting another, another nigga's money. I let them hoes know straight up, every bitch straight up. Hey, man, I'm fucked up around this motherfucker, man. If you really like me, like the way you said, I ain't even got time to be doing all this sweet text message shit. Yeah, it's real funky for me right now. Yeah, bitch, I'm at the motherfucking Comfort Inn, and it ain't no comfort. They need to really call this motherfucker the Discomfort Inn because this shit is uncomfortable. Yeah, uh, bitch, it's funky around this motherfucker for me. Bitch, don't be calling my phone and... Sounding all cute and light skinned and shit, you know what I mean? And, and oh, I was thinking about you and you're on my mind and all. Bitch, fuck all of that, bitch. I got bills due. You know what I mean? This snitch bitch didn't put me in this motherfucking situation. You know, I was fresh out that thing, man. Had that little white bitch man down, man. You know what I mean? On the blade. And instead of her sitting up there blowing up to some pimp and this bitch blow up, 
you know what I mean, to the police and shit, man. You know what I mean? And then call herself trying to get back with me. This stupid motherfucker so stupid, she think that it's okay to call the police as long as you don't uh, come to court. This, this is how this bitch think. She is a dizzy white bitch that has, has snitched. She has snitched on nine pimps to my knowledge, but I think there's more. If you ever see BP in my comment section, he will even tell you. He's, he's another pimp that she didn't told on. But the bitch, in her mind, she thinks that it's not snitching because she just made a statement. But as long as she don't come to the preliminary, uh, preliminary hearing and actually fulfill... Oh, well, I mean, excuse me. As long as she don't uh, say anything incriminating at the prelim uh, preliminary hearing or in the courtroom, it's all good. That's the first thing that bitch say. You know what I mean? I didn't come to court. You know, that's her whole mindset. Anytime motherfuckers like, yeah, you told on what's the name? You told on what's the name? But I didn't come to court. They dropped the case. They let him out of jail because I didn't come to court. That's, that bitch is so stupid. You know, but everything happened for a reason, man. You know, the game looked out for me even then. But I'm just, as I'm sitting here talking to y'all, man, that really sit up there and sparked me when motherfucker act. I'm just thinking like, damn, man, a nigga really uh, pimped for what he had. And not just pimped for what I have, but, you know, I mean, look at the circumstances that I had to go through to get to where I am now. And I might not have what I want, but God damn, look at everything, man, that... <laughs> Shit, I'm just grateful for the point where if every hoe blew up, uh, God forbid, game forbid, but I'm in a position right now, man, that if every hoe blow up, you know what I mean? I'm still banked up. Yeah, if every hoe blow up, then, you know, I'll be holeless, but I won't be doleless, you know? And that's a blessing when you know that your credit is so excellent where you can pretty much jug yourself. That's a beautiful thing. When you don't have to depend on anybody to jug you, you are now in a financial position where you can jug your goddamn self. Oh my God. You know, you don't have to call one pimp. You don't have to be a part of these niggas' conversations because you know these niggas are only going to help you just to say that they helped you. Um, but it's a blessing to be able to jug yourself. That's why if you're a young pimp listening to this right now, you need to have excellent credit. Every young P should have excellent credit. You never know the circumstance that might come tomorrow or in the future. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, if you're having a run right now, you need to be saving your money. I understand that you want to be in the double R and you want to be in the Bentley and you want to... All of that's good. Shine, young king. But just make sure the lawyer is paid. Just make sure that the bail bondsman, you know what I mean, has, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That retainer. Yeah, make sure that he has that and he has that and he has that. Take care of your business. See, now I'm in a circumstance where as if I was to die, uh, you won't be seeing a GoFundMe. And if you do see a GoFundMe for me, know that they're manipulating you and hustling you. Because I, my observation, I've seen so many other people not take care of business. That's what compelled me to take care of mine. You see what I'm saying? I done seen so many situations in the streets where certain individuals didn't take care of business. So when they died, you know what I mean? Their families had to preside over this and preside over that because their business wasn't taken care of. I said, man, that's not going to be me. I need, to, I need to be represented correctly. I need to be represented right. And whatever lifestyle that I die at, at that time, that's the lifestyle that needs to be glorified at my service. So, you know, again, man, you know, um, I don't know, man. That really had got me fired. I started thinking about, because I literally forgot about y'all while I was talking. And I was just seeing myself arguing with this bitch <laughs> oh my god it went back to that circumstance man you know um 
Yeah, uh, man, I don't know why I just really just literally just seen myself just sitting down, you know what I mean, talking, uh, you know, screaming my head off, calling that bitch all type of punks and, oh my God, veins popping out my head. Oh my God, just completely looking stressed out, you know, and I'm just looking at the way I'm living and doing things now, man. I don't want to go back to that. I don't never want to go back to that. Oh, hell no. But to each his own. But no, I don't never want to go back to that. I got PP partners that's in their 40s and 50s, and they're still depending on jugs and other people to assist them and things like that. I'm talking about straight lace pimps. You know, this is what happens to straight lace pimps that keep it real with the game, you know? They put principle in, put the game. I'm not saying... You know, this is, happens all the time, but we do have some straight laced pimps. You know, they're in some cold circumstances and situations right now because they kept it pimping. And as a result of them putting their principles and balls and manhood, um, you know, as, as them exalting that, you know, over the money that was coming from this bitch, uh, they no longer have that bitch or them bitches no more. You know, so they're going through some tough circumstances right now. And I just appreciate the game uh, for blessing me to be in a circumstance uh, to be a blessing. But not just because, see, I'd rather be the giver than the receiver because it speaks volumes about the positions that, that I mean, the position that I'm in. You know, the, the, the part that I'm actually in a position where I'm able to give. I like that better. That's why it says it's better to give than to receive because it's blessed to be in the position of the giver. See, because you could be in the uh, position of the receiver and somebody might give you $1,000 or $5,000 or $10,000 jug and which one would you rather be? The person that's receiving the jug or the individual that's able to give a thousand or five thousand or ten thousand or twenty thousand dollar jugs. Which one would you rather be in? I speak for myself. I'd rather be the individual that's able to be uh, a blessing, that's able to give those type of blessings out. You know, I'd rather be that, you know, individual. Yeah. I'd rather be that individual, man, you know. But again, let me get out of here, man. This, I'll fuck around and be on here uh, for an eternity, man. You know, I done just fell in love with just speaking about this game. And shout out to my boy, Top Dog. Shout out to you, Sin, for blessing us with this game, this revelation to this game. Shout out to Top Dog. Appreciate that, fam. You know, good looking. You know, I apologize if I was talking so much uh, that I forgot about certain uh uh individuals that was making you know the super chats matter of fact let me check my cash out make sure oh no 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 new cash out okay facts i know someone that started at gofundme because the house burned down you helped me get through this work day i appreciate that baby i i, I really do but i was really just talking shit yeah, man, and um, Ted, whoo, that took me back to that time. I don't never want to go back. <laughs> and it's winter time, too? Man, I don't never want to go to them time. Just picture me, 38 years old, and I got to ask another man. I got to wait on another man when he ready to eat so I can eat. And see, everybody not like me. Everybody not like Freeze. You know, like, I'm going to give you some money so you don't have to ask me, you know, uh, for no money. I'm not going to, if we go into a club, I'm not going to jug you in front of these bitches so I can look like that nigga in front of these bitches. I'm going to jug you before we get into this motherfucking club so you can already appear to have what you got going on before you even came in the door. You came in that nigga. You came in, you know, looking like, dressed like, feeling like the pimping. I'm not going to jug you in front of no bitches. I'm not going to give you no money in front of these bitches, man. 
some of you niggas, is, and then let me say this on both sides. On one side, you shouldn't be giving a nigga uh, no money in front of this bitch or bitches because you don't want to uh, make this motherfucker feel like he ain't shit and make you feel like you the shit, you know what I mean, in front of this bitch or bitches. And then on the other end, you shouldn't be jugging another pimp in front of your hoe or hoes because that hoe or hoes don't need to know who you jugging and, or none of that. Because bitches is silly like that. Instead of this bitch being focused on, you know, getting some money, she focused on, damn, I'm out here sucking and fucking and taking all of these chances. And you mean to tell me that he looking out for his friend? I'm not out here sucking and fucking and doing all of these dates and putting my life in danger and all of this shit only for a nigga to sit up there and look out for his friend and look out for his partner while he don't. Man, fuck that. That's exactly why you don't give another man no money, be a blessing to another man in front of that woman or them women because the way they feel is not the way you think. So, you know, I've learned that a long time ago. That's just some good common pieces, you know what I mean, for your ass. You know, so no, we don't do that. Even when I do consultations, those that have had consultations with me, you know that I don't even speak to y'all you know what I mean? In front of uh, women. Some of y'all, you know what I mean? Of course, because of the time of the day, you didn't call and just so happened, you know what I mean? They was around or a certain bitch was around. And what did I do? I went into another room to talk to you because a bitch don't need to be in our business. Even if you are square, just as men, women don't need to be in our business. You might be telling me something about your wife or some other shit that's going, somebody might have died or you trying to speak to me privately. You don't need no woman all in the goddamn background and all of that goddamn shit. You're going to feel some type of way. And then some niggas got that bad. I ain't saying no names, but you have niggas that will try to correct you, reprove you, rebuke you, correct you, and they doing this in front of their wife or they doing this in front of their girlfriend or they doing this in front of their hoe. Totally unpimpish. Totally unfly. How can that young man, you know, or that man receive what you're saying and you're saying these things to him in front of a woman and she giggling and smiling or she saying, that's right. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Totally unpimpish. Nick, and then and then some of these dudes got that tag team back again situation so cold that they could be talking to you and the bitch just get in the conversation without the nigga even giving the bitch permission. And next thing you know, the bitch is correcting you <laughs> and the bitch is sitting over there telling you what you need to do and he's smiling and agreeing with the shit. No. See, with Sinful to P, ain't no Batman and Robin situation. Ain't none of that. Ain't no pimp number one and pimp number two and you know what I mean? And, 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 and I'm talking to you and then a hoe come on the phone in the background. That's right. And let me say something to you too. See, when you said, you'd be looking at me crazy. I'm sitting over there checking you about this and that and then my hoe like, yeah, saying, give me the phone. Yeah, and another thing you did wrong, nigga. Like, <laughs> you'd be looking at me like, nigga, what the fuck? We don't do that. Well, let me just say, I don't do that, and I hope you don't. But anyway, let me get off here, man. I just feel the teacher spirit all on me, man. This live can just go forever. If I don't hurry up and leave, man, this will fuck around and be a, a man. It's already a four-hour live, man. Let me let me get, yeah, I, I tripped out, man. This wasn't, wasn't even supposed to be long. I ain't got nothing but the, the letter P up in here. And we had over 1,200 motherfuckers watching at one time. And I ain't got and I ain't got no thumbnail. And I ain't got no motherfucking uh, fancy ass, you know what I mean, uh, uh, title or no celebrity in there. Just talking straight game, you know what I mean, through this whole motherfucker. But anyway, man, I love y'all. I got to get up out of here, man. Dre, man. Shout out to uh, Dre. Shout out to Taylor May. Shout out to 500 Band. Shout out to my nigga Punchy. You know what I mean? Shout out to Sexy. Shout out to that nigga Vic. Shout out to First Down. Shout out to Concrete. 
Let me get out of here, man. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll be in here talking all goddamn day, man, because I, I feel like just going, you know? But, hey, I'm going to put the link to my Patreon in the comment section. Matter of fact, before I go, uh, did everybody get to see all of the movies that, you know what I mean, that I put, uh, put on from the theater? Yeah. Go get pimping, man. You fired up. Right, right. <laughs> Shout out to Divine. Yeah. Might sit up there and call that bitch. And bitch, one more motherfucking thing. Wait a minute. Seeing you went off about this years ago. What making you call me? Yeah, bitch. I still feel, I feel, still feel disrespected from that goddamn time. And one more thing, bitch. Let me stop. But anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. Mo, no, what's going on? Nation, what's going on? But um, blessings to everybody, man. Nine out of ten. This will go on the Patreon. I said so much within this video. But anyway, man, I love you guys. I'm going to put the uh, link to my Patreon. Everybody come through. Uh, is it? Hold on. Please post movies on Patreon again. I miss them. Which one did you miss? Because I put... Wakanda, I put, uh, like, like, what movies did you want to see? Because, hold on, I'm trying to think, man. Give me a second. Because I'm going to put Sugar Hill on there. Somebody had asked me three strikes. That's what it was, three strikes. He want me to repost that. But, man, I didn't put The Woman King on there. I didn't put Black Adam on there. Uh, Medieval. Wakanda. I put Smile on there last night. Uh, and I think somebody had asked me to post Top Dog. Top Dog Maverick. I think that's what it's called. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to repost a, uh, some movies. Uh, later today, along with the game and some other shit, you know what I mean? Uh, my people will tell you, man, you know what I mean? I damn near, uh, I be posting like goddamn, uh, uh, I want to say, I'm going to post at least 10 to 20 times a day. Sometimes I post over 20 times a day, but uh, I missed Woman King. Okay, baby, I, I repost it uh, just for you. Yeah, just for you. You know, but you got to watch it, man, because I only keep it up there about a good four or five hours. So the moment that you get that notification, that's for you to watch, man. You know, you pay for a consult. You ain't never pay. If you pay for a consultation, because some of you say that, and then when I check, you know what I mean? The things say pending. And what you have to understand is I'm not going to get into an argument with uh, anybody or have any type of uh, confrontation over a phone or anything like that. But nines out of 10, if your shit say pending, I'm not going to do it. And this is out of uh, because of past experiences. I've actually done consultations with certain individuals. And then after it was done, you know what I mean? Uh, they just basically, you know, canceled order and got the money back. And I just, you know... And then actually so low down that after getting the money back, uh, uh, you know, snatching the money back, tried to sit up there and do a consultation with me again. <laughs> like, am I boo-boo the fool? So, no, if your shit say pending, if the money has not went all the way through for me, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I don't take anything that says pending. And then some of you have made consultations in the past. And sometimes I just didn't, uh, uh, I might not have seen it, but you got my number, 702-800-9473. You know what I mean? 702-800-9473. You could have called me. Do you know what I'm saying? And said, you know, saying, uh, what's up with woo, woo, woo. And then sometimes me and the guys uh, look and I had to tell certain people like, hey, man, uh, I'm not doing anything with pending. I don't like pimping. Yeah, that sounds like some good game for a con artist. And don't try to con the pimping. So, yeah, I'm not, again, I'm not doing anything that says pending. 
Yeah, I've learned from past experiences. But I'm out of here, guys, man. I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Uh, this day, I might, I might let this stay on for a little while, but yeah, this was, this was too much, man. This definitely, this is a Patreon banger. Matter of fact, Vic already said it. Um, but I love you guys, man. I'm gone. Out of here.